Hi everyone, my cat is free. She's no longer in her flower prison. She gets to sit like normal now. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Um, Zappy's hanging out with us and guess what? She's hanging out in here of her own free will. I didn't even trap her in my office today. She came in here on her own, which makes it even better. <laughs> <laughs> so hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. She's still bald. Um, it still looks kind of weird. There's no more stitches though. <laughs> they took her stitches out today. So, but she's she's doing very well. I think she's very glad to be coneless. Um, she's she's really happy about that, as you can see. She gave herself a, a very nice bath today and everything, you know, because <laughs> now she can actually groom herself. She can get around easier because she's not dragging a cone around. I mean, she's having a way better time, so. <laughs> anyway, we're going to play some Sims today, but I figured while the chat was all coming in, I would let you see the cat cam full cam. Um, I probably should buy a new webcam that's like a little bit higher quality, but it usually works fine when it's small, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yay, Snappy, she did so well. <laughs> Let me get my game open too while we're letting people load in here, yeah? Um, and then we shall play some Sims together. It'll be fun. You want to pet her so bad? <laughs> I get it, I understand. I can see where you're coming from. It must be hard to have to stare at her like this, you know? Snap can go in her tunnel now. Yeah, she can. <laughs> She's able to use all of her toys again. She can actually do it. <laughs> she can actually get to everything. She can touch her own face again. She looks kind of like oddly shaped. Listen, this is so mean, but doesn't her tail look kind of weird? Like the connection of her tail to her body because of the shave, doesn't it look really strange? <laughs> this angle is not helping, <laughs> but there's just something real weird about that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make fun of you. I'm sorry. She even rotated. She's like, fine, I'll move it if it looks weird to you. <laughs> she, that's true, she can walk underneath my monitor now. She'll actually fit if she tries to get on the desk. She'll be she'll be very happy about that too. <laughs> looks like it's not attached to her. <laughs> it kind of does. Anyway, welcome back. Let me get my game open. Um, and then we can we can start simming. I've been here. It might not have looked like it, but I was here the whole time. <laughs> All you could see was the cat, but I was here too. <laughs> not that you care about that. Nobody cares about me. It's the star of the show is down there. So <laughs> let me try and catch up on some subs real quick and then we will get our save open. Um, Pulitz, thank you for the 28 months. Uh, Clara and Lilith and Mariana and Punk and Milo. Thank you for the subs. Galactic and Oliver and Brat and Alien and Maith. Um, we got Suki and Danny and, and Plopsy, <laughs> Sierra, Shelly, KK, Shadora, and Storm, and Yarn, and Millie. Thank you for the subs. Uh, Salem and Cassie and Riley, thank you too. Thank you so much. Yeah, she got her stitches out today, Pointers. So we took her this morning to the vet and they took her stitches out. Um, and now she's been given uh, the clear to do back to normal things, basically. <laughs> um, so she's allowed to have her cone off. She's allowed to, like, exist. Um, She's definitely feeling uh, very pleased about that, I think. So, yeah, she's been off pain meds for like a week, Spoon. A, a week and a couple days. Um, so she's all good now. Things are all good. And also, I was telling Chad a second ago, she's in here of her own free will. I didn't force her to sit with me. She came in here on her own, which is very exciting. <laughs> it's like me trapping her in here for two weeks made her realize, oh yeah, I like sitting in there with Kayla. This is way better than the dining room table because she's been sitting on the dining table all the time on the chair in there and not sitting in here. But she discovered, actually, that's a really nice bed. And I want to be in there. So <laughs> she's back. We've, uh, we've reminded her how much comfier this bed is. <laughs> that's my favorite bed, actually. So anyway, she's, I'm glad that she's in here with us. Shrimpy was in here a second ago, too, but I think he left. I think the kittens are also like, your office door is open. Finally, because sometimes they would when I would be like close to getting off stream and like because usually they eat when we get off stream So I'd be like close to getting off stream So they know that it's almost dinner time and they would come to the door and be like, oh my god The door's closed and then get upset and I could hear the kittens like upset at the door and then snaps in here She can't hear them because she can't hear anything um, But now the kittens are like the door is finally open. Thank you, you know <laughs> Which is good. I'm glad that the kittens are happy, too <laughs> 
Um, anyway. Nyla, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Oh my god, thank you so much. Uh, Spam, and Slightly, and Leash, and Captain, and, and Broadway Mom, Tay Lover, Feisty, Louisa, Staley, Lonesy, May, Nicole, Agatha, and- oh. Oh. I don't have my CC installed. I have to re-enable the mods. Let me do that real quick. Um, Agatha, Michelle, Kaylee, Juan, and Webbed, and M. Claire, thank you for the subs. Uh, let me enable custom content and mods. There was, in fact, an update today. It wasn't a very... I just hit save and exit. That was a mistake. That was really not very smart. Okay. Um, well. <laughs> That's okay. We'll try that again. I think the kid's gonna be bald, but the kid wears an elf hat anyway, so you can't tell. So it shouldn't matter. We should be fine. <laughs> That's very annoying. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, yeah, Brian, uh, Snappy got her stitches out this morning, so she doesn't have to wear the flower cone anymore, because she got her stitches out. So she's very happy. Oh, Shrimpy's here! Hi, buddy! I still have a litter box in here, and he's sniffing it right now. If you want to use it, that's fine. The people didn't like it when they heard Snappy pee yesterday, though. So just be careful. <laughs> the people didn't like it when they had to hear Snappy pee. <laughs> The door was closed, Hilly, um, the past couple of weeks when I had Snappy in here because she had to be supervised after her surgery, so she couldn't leave. We were in here together with the door closed so that she couldn't come and go because I had to watch her, um, which makes sense, but. <laughs> Thought I said Tilly? I don't know. I was, I said, who was I talking to? Someone asked. I missed it. Hilly. It was Hilly that asked. <laughs> Close, not the same thing. <laughs> M, Tofu, Sally, Queen Bee, thank you for the subs. Trippy, Trippy, come here. Oh. He looked at me, started to walk up to my hand, and then left. It's actually kind of messed up when you think about it. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right, well, once the game opens again, we can actually start playing. <laughs> once we're back this time, then we can game. Uh, Vance and Wagman and Missy and Bex, thank you for the subs. I really appreciate that, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so if you have Amazon Prime, because Amazon owns Twitch, you can subscribe for free. Um, I guess it's not free because you pay for Amazon Prime, but you get a free sub every 30 days on Twitch if you pay for Amazon Prime. You have to connect your accounts together, um, but they do give that as a Prime perk. It's like one of the, you know, you get free shipping, you get a free sub, like one of the things that you already pay for. So if you're not using it, you should use it on somebody. It doesn't have to be me, but use it on somebody because you're already paying for it technically, you know, because you pay for Prime if you have it, so. Okay, well, this is not opening. <laughs> Rick, thanks for the eight months. I also didn't take out any mods, so fingers crossed, like, UI cheats didn't break. I haven't actually checked that, so, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it will be, but I guess you never know. Um, can I tell you what happened in the last Not So Berry stream? Yes, we aged up the blue gen kids into teens. Um, so that was the main thing. We played until they became teenagers, um, and now they are officially teens, so we have that going on. Um, the other one, Smurf, I think, has been a child, but I can't remember. Smurf became a child, maybe. Um, we have, Moss almost became a werewolf. Uh, I beat up Greg, because Greg was in my front yard, um, and then... I realized, oh my god, I shouldn't have done that, because now I'm about to become a werewolf. Luckily, I managed to poop out the wolf poison, um, so we don't have that happening to us anymore. But we think that we're gonna have, um, we think we're gonna have Denim become a werewolf. So, we're gonna do that. <laughs> um, Jort, we think, is gonna be the heir. Um, and I wanted to show you all one more thing. So, one of my mods, C, made a family for us. I don't, to be honest, I'm not fully remembering my own plans with this, but we had a whole discussion about the Joths, as in like the Goths, but they're the Joths, and C made them, so <laughs> I might go see real quick <laughs> what those sims Oh, What's your gallery ID, C? I'll wait. 
But we'll go see what the sims are because I think that they should be- oh, there's a seven, okay. Um, I think that there should be a family for us and they should be teenagers. So we can take a look um, and make sure we include Cece. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> the Joths. <laughs> and it's the goth family, except um, they're blue. I don't know. I don't know. Jessandra and Jalexander. Jella. <laughs> Jella's a wild name. <laughs> I kind of like it. Jordimer, Jordimer Joth was the whole, that was sort of the foundation of this, was Jordimer. All right, let me go put them back. Because they've been dead for so long in our save that we have to um, replace them. Oops, I spelled estate wrong. All right, sorry to whoever that is. Also, I think that this house is um, empty. Because they were, they've been dead for so long, they brought their stuff with them. I might uh, re-download the goth house off the gallery really quickly. You know, give them a blue suburban. <laughs> Could you imagine? Make it the same house, but all blue. We make a video turning the goth house into a blue suburban. Okay. I might need to, <laughs> we maybe should write that down. That might be kind of funny. Okay, so here's their lovely home. As you can see, it's extremely well furnished um, and they have everything a person could ever ask for. I'm sorry, that was Shrimpy. Shrimpy, did you just try and sniff her? Did you see another cat just then? Shrimpy, <laughs> did he mess with her? He walked up and sniffed her and she didn't react. Wow. <laughs> he does that a lot. He likes it when she's asleep because he can do that and she doesn't notice. Okay. Well, let me just get a regular goth house. Oh, that's my reimagined version. That's the goth house, but tiny. <laughs> oh, this is the Sims 3 one that I built. Oh, that was so fun to do. We like tile for tile recreated the Sims 3 goth house in the Sims 4 a while back. That was in 2018. Oh my God. Well, we won't use that here. Um, I just, that was fun to see. I forgot about that. Um, well, let me look and see if anybody has just straight uploaded. This one's renovated. I want the default. I hear cats yelling. Is this one default? Looks like it. Let's try that. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Go to Maxis. Oh, has Maxis uploaded it? It doesn't matter. We're probably going to make a new one. But this is just for now because it's empty. Um, let me grab this. Yay, Snap is free. Yeah, she doesn't have to wear the cone anymore. She's very happy. Um, okay. Well, that's fixed. Should be furnished now. Yeah, there you go. Slight improvement for them there. Um, Jordi, Moso, Soon, and Ellen, and Zelda, thank you for the subs. We can head out then. Okay. Um, what's going on? Oh, I was placing the, the Joth family. It's like the Goths, but um, alternate universe. I had to fix their house because it was messed up. See, they're blue. Anyway, anyway. Um, <laughs> let's, let's go back to our house. I live in Henford on Bagley. Um, sorry, I'm still on this, but did you poop the werewolfness out? <laughs> That's what I said. It's because, um, I saw on the toilet an option to try and like get rid of the wolf disease. And I thought it meant that he was like, like that our sim, they were like constipated and they were going to try and like poop it out, but then they like, they like threw up and I didn't like it. It said try to force it out, 
So that's what it said. So I thought that Moss was like gonna, you know, sit on the toilet and try and force it out. But actually it was, it was not pooping. But I don't like the other op options, so I won't talk about that part. Pooping it away is better, I think. Personally. Which I've actually, that's the kind of sentence you never think you're gonna say on stream. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Anyway, the cat cam is right here. She's on the floor. Um, you can kind of see a little bit, but there's like the edge of my desk and then the cat tree. She's right in between the two of them. So, um, okay. Well, anyway, we should be back and ready to go. Um, Denim, this is the sim. He, when he gets the, the poop um, from the wolves, he won't do that. He'll keep it. I'm going to have him be a wolf forever. It's moss that wasn't going to be a wolf. So, <laughs> we've got that to look forward to, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> this is a really weird way of talking about this on stream. <laughs> okay, let's come more carefully on this, yeah. When he gets the poop from the wolves. Yeah, I don't know why I said it like that. Listen, it's been a long day, okay? <laughs> it's been a long day. Okay, I'm gonna have everybody come back and work on these projects. These two are gonna have to start working on some of their teen stuff. I know that, um, you wanna gossip and spread a rumor. Maybe I should make a club of- oh. No. I almost pressed buy a residential rental. Oh my god, I did press it. I'm not doing that. I do not wish to be a landlord. Join a club. Um, okay. Create a club teens and then oh we could do the diamond because it's blue yeah and we'll just add some other teens into this group so that we can meet some people um we are gonna have some bald people in here because i accidentally saved without my mods installed so um that's okay though <laughs> bald is fine pesto is our is our uncle rosemary Oh my gosh, that is a lovely name. I think I might, honestly, I'm interested in maybe trying to date Rosemary. She seems really pretty and like really cute. Hopefully she has nice traits. Um, she does have the scary eyeliner. So, something to consider. Gary, Darlene, Oh, Julia has- oh no, I can't add you. Too bad. Sorry. Okay. Let me just call up Rosemary real quick. I was trying to get Cassandra- sorry, just Sandra Joth just then, but, um... She didn't show up. Oh my god, her name is like Jazz, like in Stardew Valley. <laughs> I like Rosemary. Rosemary is one of my favorite names. Um, oh, it's being laggy again. We might have to close and reopen and delete some, like, last exception type files. Um, but... We'll see if we can fix it. I don't know if UI cheats broke. I have it installed right now, and I'm not seeing anything horrible. Okay, here's Rosemary. Let's go pop into Cass and see what this sim is like. I'm worried that if I go into Cass, she might be from a big family. And that would be bad, because then, um... She would get deleted, but we might be okay. I don't know. We'll find out. We did, Tilly, yeah. <laughs> we did discuss how much, how much we like the name Rose. I like the name Rosie a lot. Um, I always liked that name for a human. I'm not having a baby. Stop. But I've always liked the name Rosie for a human. <laughs> Okay, I can't click on her. There we go. Wait for it. So she's a geek and a music lover. She wants to be leader of the pack, but like socially, not like werewolfy. She is wearing blue. She does have scary eyeliner. I cannot bring myself to be in this cast right now. Oh my god. I need to close the game and reopen it. Hold on. Get me out of here. Hold on. 
<laughs> she is cute. The MAC eyeliner is a red flag, but that's okay. That We can fix her. Um, okay, so <laughs> um, the reason that I said I'm not having a baby is because everyone making comments about me being pregnant makes me deeply and extremely uncomfortable, which is why I tried to get ahead of it. That does not give you an invitation to make jokes about it. Love you the most, but please don't do that, okay? <laughs> um, it's really easy to not do that, especially when I've said a million times on a near daily basis how much I want people to not do that, you know? <sighs> you can't even say you like a name. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to, um, I'm gonna try to close the game and see if reopening it helps fix some lag, um, and see if that solves any of our issues. You got a prismatic frog in Stardew? Oh my god, I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> That's so cool. I was trying to change the color of my frog repeatedly yesterday to see if I could get one and I got a void frog Which is cool, too, but it's not rainbow So Very sad <laughs> Okay, give it a second. I'm gonna try and reload see if that helps us You know the Sims 4 actually had two patches today moth um they had one patch and then it introduced a new bug, so they got rid of it. Um, or so, that, so they patched again to fix it, but there were there were two patches today, in fact. Um, okay, I'm gonna look and see if reloading this will help us, yeah? Um, let's try again. Making baby name lists is fun whether you want kids or not. It's just, I, see Tilly, I get that. I can see why you would want to do that. It is just kind of fun. It's fun to think about names. I like to, um, I, there's a couple people on TikTok that talk about, like, baby name trends that I think are kind of interesting. I don't know. I'm not having a baby. Stop. I have an interest in names. I play The Sims. Everyone likes names so they play The Sims. They have to name all kinds of Sims. So stop being weird about it. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I have to get ahead of it. We should be fine. All right, fingers crossed this works a little bit better because we are now 20 minutes into the stream and things are not going very well, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll be fine. Jordimer, number one name for sure. <laughs> Me too. Me too. We will eventually, cutesy, we will eventually. Um, is my PC doing better? Um, no. I had a crashing issue again today. Um, me and Dan are still trying to uh, troubleshoot and, and do some random testing, but I didn't have that much time to test it uh, as much as I wanted to today because we had to go to the vet, so... Um, yeah. But it's okay. The video, I'm not posting it until this weekend or like Monday, but I recorded a video today that I recorded yesterday, but I didn't have any audio. <laughs> That was my own mistake. I didn't realize that my mics had reset um, when I was trying to troubleshoot my computer. So I recorded it again today and it my whole computer died in the middle halfway through the recording. So I kind of like recorded it like two and a half times total and it's the same video. Uh, <laughs> it's just kind of like pathetic, you know, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, it's been a long day. <laughs> you would have given up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't though. So that was good. That was good. I'm proud of myself. So if you see the same build on my gallery twice, but like slightly different, don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> don't think about it too much. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's, uh, let's load and hope that it works this time. I think we should be better off this time. I feel like it's already loading a little bit better. So that's a relief. Um, would you care to talk to Rosemary a little bit? Maybe give props? I don't know if I'm ready to commit to dating Rosemary forever. You know what? They both have very similar hair energy. I'm probably gonna change Rosemary's hair because our haircuts are a little bit too similar for my liking, but they do have very similar hair energy. 
So that's fun. Maybe- Oh, wait! She has the same haircut as our mom. Oh, yeah, we really have to change that. <laughs> we cannot- We can't date someone who has the exact same hair as our mom. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's gotta change. No, no question. That has to change. Yeah. No way. <laughs> You're gonna say the capris are a red flag? <laughs> you think her pants are a red flag? Oh my gosh. <laughs> when Snap sleeps like that, do you call it a donut or a croissant? I actually, I usually call it, um, oops, that's the wrong thing. I usually, oh, that's the wrong thing. There you go, sorry. Um, I usually call it a snail. Would be my pick. Um, but, <laughs> but all are good. I think snail's kind of cute. That's shrimp mode. Yeah, that the problem is I can't really call it shrimp mode, you know? Because that that's confusing in this household. It could mean, like, something else. Okay, I might do a bold pickup line. You call it a cinnamon roll? Aww. <laughs> that's so cute. She's hiding her face now? Yeah. She's covering her little nose. I think she might be a little bit cold. We have a major crush on Rosemary already. Oh my god, this is so Sims to like decide who you're gonna date and just pick that person and like all of a sudden I'm gonna marry this Sim. <laughs> That's so silly. I met you today. We have to um we have to marry our high school sweetheart in the Sims in the Sims 4 for this challenge. Um we do have to break up with the Sim though. So we probably should date someone that isn't Rosemary briefly and then have her be our real high school sweetheart. Because if we want to finish the aspiration, well, I don't want to break up with Rosemary. Oh my god, Rosemary Potts? No, she was born for this. Oh my god. Maybe we could date, we could date Jasandra and then dump her, and then get with Rosemary forever. Cause Rosemary Potts, she was made for our family. That's so lucky, that's so good. Okay, we're gonna date her, I think. <laughs> Complain about parents. <laughs> it's destiny. We, we are gonna have to cheat on her eventually, and that's okay. Right? <laughs> what if, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. What if we cheat on her with Jasandra? So we, we date Jess in high school, dump her, marry Rosemary, and then cheat with Jess one time only. Okay, that is the rules of the challenge. So we have no choice. She loves music. I mean, she's perfect. Wow. Act tough? I don't know. <laughs> Happy Sushi Tuesday! Happy Sushi Tuesday to you too, Brew. I'm really happy for you. That's exciting. Your guilty conscience will make you confess in the blue gen. Yeah, I don't really, um, I don't love the, oh wait, you don't like me? Uh-oh. I made an enemy. Oh, maybe not. False alarm. I was gonna say, I don't love the, like, cheating thing. Um, that's not normally how I would play The Sims. It's like, normally, if I play with a Sim who is a cheater, it's like, this person is bad, you know? And even if they, like, have some good things happen to them, it's still like, you're bad, you know? But in this case, we have to be rooting for the person who's bad and then keep it a secret forever. Now who wrote this challenge? Me. But the point was to do things that I didn't normally do in my game. So, here we are, being a dirty cheater and then keeping it a secret. And ruining a sim's life. <laughs> so. Uh, okay, maybe you should apologize too. Because things are not going very well. Okay, next step, I want to make you a social bunny. Because I want to add some people to our contact list, specifically Rosemary. Um, but I'll probably add, like, my brother, too, for now. I 
sent her a flirty message. Let me take you to Plum Bite Pier. I've got a seat on the cuddle cards reserved just for you. Oh my gosh, isn't that like a little bit forward? Wow. Let's go do her outfits, or at least one of her outfits, I think. Yeah. No, you don't have to have a baby with the other person. You just have to cheat on them. And that, I mean, you could just like kiss somebody else, you know? Or it could be, I mean, an emotional affair or something. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Those are all bad things. Very bad, bad, bad things. Okay, so step one, we're gonna have to change the Sims hairstyle because um, we can't have her have the same hair as our mom. That simply won't do. She can't have the same hair as our mom and she absolutely cannot have the MAC eyeliner. <laughs> Those both things are absolutely not allowed to happen. Oh, you know what we could do? Um, we have the new... I haven't used the new swatches yet from the SDX drop. If we wanted to try and use them... Oh, I can't ever find them. There you go. If we wanted to try and use the new swatches, that might be kind of fun. Right? Oh, I kind of like the purple. That's kind of a different vibe than what we had originally talked about, but that's also, I mean, I think it's still good, right? I like the dark purple. That's really pretty. It's not blue. That's what I mean by a different vibe. <laughs> but we don't have to have our wife be blue. Only we have to be blue. Um... I'm glad you like it, Billy. I mean, it's not actually the fanciest of setups. I have a little mini tripod and just a webcam attached to it, so I can move it around easily, depending on where she is. Um, so. Okay, what are the vibes that we're going for? I know Brew is yelling, uh, saying goth or alt, which is fun. We could try to use some more of the goth pack if we wanted to, because I guess we haven't really used it that much. Um... But I don't know... I don't really know what I want to do with it. Is this Jort? No, no. Oh, sorry, I can move my cat cam down a little bit. Um, this is who Jort's gonna date. This Sim's not Jort. Um, she felt more nature-y. Oh, yeah. But you can be goth and nature-y at the same time. There's roses on this. Hmm. You can be a nature goth. I stand by that. I don't really know what sort of vibe I want to go for with this. I guess we do uh -huh. have... Oh my. Anybody else, when you saw Jojo Siwa's new um, mi uh, music video, did you think, oh, it's the goth kit? Because that's what I thought when I saw it. Immediately. Same makeup. She was inspired. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa, Ash, Honey, Sky, AK, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, so I don't really know if I want to use this shirt. I like the idea of it, I think. But, may oh. Not in that color. The spider webs are kind of fun. I think I'd probably want to use a solid... Oh, maybe I don't like that shirt. Maybe we should pick a different... There are so many... I used to be obsessed with this shirt a long time ago. It's kind of funny looking at that. I don't think I want to use it, but... It is kind of funny to think about. Some of the spellcaster stuff might be fun to use, too. Um... Werewolves? I don't know if I like those. I feel like, I don't know- oh, I like these better. These are some of my favorite shoes in the game. It's giving reputation! <laughs> You're right, a little bit. That's the spirit. No, don't do that. Did we delete anyone from this household? Uh, possibly, but it's okay. It's okay. They'll be fine. <laughs> no one important got deleted. 
you know? <laughs> Alyssa, thank you for the resub. Do we like this jacket then? Where's Moss? Oh, Moss is in our Sims household. This is Rosemary. We think we think that um, Moss's kid is gonna date her. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, we're, we're making a Sim that Moss's kid is going to eventually date. So. I'm getting a lot of really mixed signals about this jacket. So that's confusing. And I don't really know what to do with that. I do like the purple lips, I think. You liked the skull flower shirt? I did too. Um, I don't know if it goes with the skirt though, is why I was like not so... I was trying to pick something that was a little bit more cropped to go with the skirt. That's why I swapped it. And I don't really like the ones from the goth kit. Like, I don't really like those for this. You see? Moss's kids' names are Jort, who's gonna date Rosemary. Um, Jort has a twin brother named Denim, uh, and they have a younger sibling named Smurf. So, is that supposed to be Bone Hilda? Yeah, it is Bone Hilda. We can use this for a different outfit. I just don't think that it works with the skirt. We can have two everyday outfits, like, it's not a big deal. Um, okay, so I would rather have something that is a little bit more cropped. Could be fun sleepwear. That's true. We could also just give her, um, she could wear that with like jeans or something for, or pants of some sort that maybe like fits a little bit better. I always forget about this. I don't really want to use that. Um, I just kind of forget that it's there. So that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really feeling all that inspired by this. I used to be obsessed with this shirt too. It's kind of funny looking back on that because I just thought this was like the coolest thing ever. Who is she? My Sim's gonna date her. So she's nobody right now. <laughs> she's nobody yet, but we will date her, so. I agree that I feel like I wish that we had something a little bit more floral, given the fact that her name is Rosemary. I just don't really know what that means for us. It might be nice if it was purple. Um, we need better baby tees. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. Um, I used to like this a lot too. That's so funny, looking back on it. Get Famous Jacket, that's true. The Get Famous Jacket might not be terrible. Oh, there's a little strawberry, or I guess it's probably not strawberries, raspberries maybe? Hmm. I keep clicking on stuff like this that's like, oh, first of all, a totally different vibe. However, I wonder if we could pick a pair of tights that, I know that's like two flowers together, but that might be interesting. What do you think? Is it too many florals or is it fine? I can't tell. You like it? Okay, everybody seems like they like it. This shirt is from high school years. I don't know if I've ever used this swatch before. She's stylish and she knows how to mix patterns. Oh my God, you're so right. Can you put a necklace on top of this or does it not work? You can, okay, so we can pick a necklace too. I don't really know what kind of necklace. I think something that is kind of silver would be good. They do have like, ch 
chokers too, but I kind of, oh, you can't use a choker, it doesn't work, okay. Um, this one is from high school years, that's silver. I kind of like the idea of it being, oh, that kind of clips weird with the neckline, so we can't do that one. I think I like that. I like it in the darker color. And then maybe she could have a little ring. It could be a plum bob ring. Okay, that's cool. I think that's cool. I, I think the black helps because it like helps to balance the outfit a little bit more because there's a lot of dark colors and this is all lighter, so. I was trying to do socks sticking out of her boots, Owen, but the problem is all of the socks are like too short or they're like really tall. And these don't really come in the right colors. Do you see what I mean? Our options are not very good. I was trying to do that first as well, but these particular shoes, there's not any socks that fit with it. That's, a, oh my God. This is a little bit more than I would have worn <laughs> if I were you. That was a lot, that look, um, and not in a good way. <laughs> um, that was a bit much for me. Yeah, okay. Well, we have to think prom because we'll probably give her more outfits later on. I don't really feel that interested in doing all of her outfits just now. Right now I'm more thinking like, what do we need immediately? Um, so probably like this and then our hot weather, cold weather kind of thing. But, um, there are like, I don't know. There are some dresses that are kind of, I mean, this one has like that lace energy, but I don't really think that's what we're going for. Let me look at the wedding stories stuff really quickly. Cause this one, that does have fancy prom dress energy. And I could, I could see it. I don't know. A suit would be Ooh. cute. I feel like all my Sims recently have worn suits to prom though. Um, I do like the idea. I just feel like I've been doing so many suits at prom that I'm like, maybe we should try and do a dress, which I know sounds kind of backwards, but <laughs> that's true. I've been like overdoing it. So <laughs> I like this. I think that's kind of cute. Um, I'll, I'll redo her athletic wear later on. I'm not too interested in worrying about this just yet. Aww. <laughs> Yuck. Maybe I will do it real quick. Ah. Feels like she thrifted it. Oh, I like the idea of that, Brew. That's cool. Fun concept. Um, maybe she can just have some leggings. I can't say I'm super obsessed with the style looks just in general. This Sim's gonna be Jort's future girlfriend, Bellaney. So we're we're dressing up a Sim who our Sim's gonna date soon. Is the idea. Um, and again, we'll we'll redo more outfits later on. I'm just kind of trying to set her up for now so that we're prepared if we like see her around. Mm -hmm. I guess. Um, she is a music lover and a geek. Snap said you aren't allowed to see her traits. <laughs> Snap decided actually you can't see the traits. I'll be covering those up. Um, this dress is from the new pack. It's from the rent pack. I don't know if I remember this dress to be honest. Um, Snappy, look at how you're laying. What a, what a creature. Okay. The MAC eyeliner is starting to be a red flag. <laughs> Honestly, her wearing the MAC eyeliner for every single outfit 
It is kind of starting to alarm me. I agree. Um, it's like we've reached a point now where we've done it too much. You know? Okay, here's one thing. I used to do this all the time. I thought I was like so cool for this, okay? I used to go through and I would pick these pants and then I would put like the fishnets from the base game under them. And I just thought, oh, I really did something with that. <laughs> I used to be obsessed with this concept a while back. <laughs> I do think that it's it's very like, she's a she's a teenager, like she's doing stuff like that. I could see it. It I, I could see it. Um I think that it's kind of her vibe. So, oops, go back. But I used to have a lot of my sims do this. <laughs> I definitely had a phase with this, so. It's like anytime I do something that I used to do a lot in The Sims, I'm like kind of embarrassed when I try and do it again, you know? Mm. Um, even though it's not embarrassing. But. Can you wear, no, you can't wear the choker with it. Can you wear a necklace with it? Yes, okay. Well, that's kind of frustrating to me that we can't do whatever I want, but that's okay. You have that necklace already and you probably don't have that much jewelry as you are 15 years old, so. <laughs> you can have that. Um, oh, didn't I set her pronouns? I did set them, right? You saw me do that. I changed her off interval. Okay, they did vanish. Oh, the undo button causes that? Oh dear. Okay. Well, that's bad. Okay, I don't know if these things are really super her vibe, but I like this. I wonder, I must have had that happen to me before and I just didn't like put it together that it was, wait, that's kind of fun. Um, I was, I was gonna say, I wonder if that, that has happened to me before and I didn't really associate it as like, it was because I pressed the undo button. I wonder if I like left cast without realizing and then I was like, wait a minute, my pronouns are gone. Um, so. That would explain a lot, honestly. Yeah, because I feel like I've had to reset my Sims pronouns multiple times before. And I'm just like, I swear I did that. But then it's like sometimes it'll happen and not so very, where like I'll do it and then the next time I come back to the save, I'm like, wait a minute. I could have sworn I put pronouns, but they're not there. And so I keep thinking that maybe it's my fault, but Maybe it actually has just been deleting itself and I didn't realize. Cause that would honestly explain a lot. So there, now I feel better knowing that it's not just me. Um, maybe like a purple shirt. Colors, purple. Okay, I don't really know if any of these are super gonna work for us here, but I don't know. She just needs to have some outfits so that way, ooh, if we see her out and about, it doesn't look ridiculous. Maybe I'll do that, but with different pants. Cause I never use that shirt. I used to use that sometimes and I haven't in a while. We could mix and match. We could do the same thing we did for our party wear if we wanted to. We loved that. <laughs> I think she should wear the boots again too. Okay. I actually like that. I think that's kind of cool. And again, we'll do her outfits, like we'll upgrade them a little bit once she gets older and stuff. Um, but this will be a good starting point for us now. Who doesn't love nine heavy boots in 90 degrees? <laughs> it's perfectly reasonable. It makes perfect sense. Don't even worry about it. Um, I've been giving her, ooh, not those. 
been giving her that lipstick for all of her outfits. Oh, you know what we should also pick is the, um, it's from the grunge kit. Hmm. I am obsessed with this scrunchie. Honestly, in that color too. Okay. True alt kids wear the docks in any weather. You're so right, Brew. Thank you. Um, docks stay on in all weather conditions. <laughs> I cannot imagine wearing them in like 95 degree heat in the summertime, but I think that a lot of people do. So, um, I don't really like any of these jackets if I'm being honest. So that's sad. I guess it doesn't have to be purple. Colors, black. You, are not, you wear them no matter the weather. I respect it, I respect it. They're cool, it looks good. Um, yeah, I'm not really obsessed. You think the sweater she has on is cute? You think we should just keep it? I mean, if you think it fits her vibe, then it fits her vibe and it's fine. It does have like the floral energy that we've been talking about. I feel like we need to have tighter pants. Oh, I don't like those. Never mind. This this could be okay. Should we do a hat? Just so it like seems like it's better for the weather a little bit more. There is a purple one. I don't think that looks very good. My pronouns again! That's very rude. Oh, the bucket hat is cute too. I don't know. I think I like this better. I think I like this. I think this will work. And we'll just put her makeup back. And then we probably should, we should probably uh, call it a day for now. And, and like finish the rest of it when she's older because we don't want to spend all day in cast. <laughs> that wasn't the original plan. Um, I think that should be enough cast for today. We just want her to look relatively decent. I don't know if her cold weather is the best outfit, but it's okay. She's not technically our sim yet, you know? Um, so. Oh, there were people in chat asking for a glucose monitor and I was gonna do it after I finished her outfits and I didn't. Um, do you all mind if we just wait until she becomes our sim and we add it then? I know that sounds bad, but like, <laughs> I don't know if I wanna go back into cats. Remind me when we like start dating her for real and we like have her move in with us and we'll fix it then, yeah? Um, Cause I just don't wanna have to go back on the loading screen. I'm sorry that I clicked, I didn't mean to do that. I wasn't thinking. Um, but I don't want to go back into Cass again. <laughs> so, I say, well, she has one, we just can't see it. You know? <laughs> but we'll, you'll remind me, so we'll do it when we, once she moves in with us. Um, I think that'll be good. Um, Cass is a chore, but more so it's the loading screens that are a chore, <laughs> so I don't want to have to do it again. I'm terrible, I'm sorry. <laughs> Our lag's been better today, Corolla, thankfully. Our lag's been better. Look at what Snap is doing. Look at this creature. <laughs> I need to take a picture of her, hold on. She's so funny looking. I got it. How can she breathe? She lays with her face in the pillow a lot. Um, she's fine, you can see her, she's breathing. <laughs> It just like seems like not a pleasant way to sit, you know? She's like all twisted and everything. Whatever. If you like it, that's fine. <laughs> Mel, Lucy, and Chu, and Bex, and Jackson, thank you for the subs. Garden, Becca, Taz, thank you so much. Cora, Elizabeth, thank you all so much. Sorry, I was very distracted um, by, by Cass. Okay, let's start playing again. So we've been talking to that sim. Oh, I love her everyday outfit. She's so cute. Show off muscles. 
Are you feeding the fish? Oh my god, you stay far away from those sharks. You be careful. Oh. <laughs> Is her booty shaved? Yeah, she, um... She had surgery two weeks ago to remove some cancer. She had like a lump on her leg. Um, and so her, her whole backside is shaved basically. She actually got her stitches out today. So this is her first day cone free. Um, so she's having a great time getting to sleep comfortably right now. So um, she's, she's feeling a lot better cause she's getting to have a little nap for the first time without her cone on. Well, she's had cone free time the past week, but um, only supervised and not always, you know. She looks very comfortable, yeah. <laughs> She's definitely uh, having a good day today, so. Okay, well, we'll talk to her enough to become friends, I guess. And then I guess I wanna gossip five times. So we can try and do that. And then we'll see how that goes. I really like her hair. I think it's so pretty. I'm glad they did that update. Um, I too love to gossip five times in a row. Could you imagine? And it's like you're saying the same thing over and over again. One big drama. Okay, well that's two out of five times. Friendly. Gossip. Try that. Are you done? Three out of five? Come on. Finish it. This blue thing on the plum bob, um, that's because we're a spell caster, yes? I think so. Um, it's a spell caster symbol. Jort, my legacy heir, is in fact a spell caster. So. When am I gonna be streaming Nightmare Legacy? That's a good question. I mean, I don't actually stream my my YouTube Let's Play. Uh, I record that separately. I don't live stream that save. I record that and then like cut it down for a YouTube video. I never stream myself playing it. Um, we do like stream the builds that I make for it usually, but I don't stream the Let's Play recordings. I don't think she liked that bit of gossip. Well, you stop gossiping. You've got enough. I'm gonna go find Jasandra now because um, I would like to date Jas briefly. <laughs> so the drama mama thing comes from high school years. It's one of the teenager aspirations. See, look at how much she's thriving. She can groom her arm now. I was joking to her earlier. She didn't know I was joking to her because she can't hear, but I was joking to her earlier about how um, she was so stinky because she didn't take a bath for two weeks. And now she can take a bath. <laughs> she did, she was able to groom a little bit when she had her cone off and when she wasn't touching her stitches, but now she can take a real bath. So, exciting for her. She can finally shower. <laughs> yeah, she had it rough. Um, okay, well, I don't see her, so let's knock on the door. I almost clicked start a break in by accident. Could you imagine? Hello. Friendly introduction. Oh. Or speak English. N the bigger issue, I believe that Snap can understand me when I speak to her. Uh, even though she can't hear and she doesn't speak English, I know that she understands me when I talk to her. I believe that me and my cat have like a spiritual connection and I'm not kidding. Like there's something we, we're best friends. So she just knows when I'm talking to her. She knows what I'm saying. <laughs> And I mean that. <laughs> oh, Banfan, this is the Joth family. Here's Jordimer Joth. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll gossip to you too. I might want to spread a rumor in the mischief category too. Spread a nasty rumor. This family confuses you. Oh, it's just an alternate universe goth family. Don't worry about it. Snap! That's nasty. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, everybody. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yikes. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. When you talk to Abby, she knows. Exactly! Exactly. Oh, wow. Oh, and that's really interesting. <laughs> she heard us call her stinky. That's why she's doing this. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> On the camera as well. Oh, you made me food. Thanks, Jella. <laughs> okay, um, where did she go? Upstairs to her room, maybe? Oh, you're talking to yourself in the mirror. Okay. Bold pickup line. We'll see how that goes. Did you rename them? No, it's a, it's a, uh, they've been replaced. This is an alternate universe. So let me show you my family tree real quick and you'll understand why we're in this situation. So, um, oh, wrong sim. I didn't mean to click on you. Um, so the reason that we have been forced to make a duplicate goth family is because at this point of our save, we are on gen 20. This was my legacy founder. Um, so, <laughs> basically, Bella Goth is her age. So, Bella Goth is super dead. Like, as dead as you can get. So dead by now. So, we made, um, well, my, one of my mods made as a joke, uh, alternate universe, 20 gens down the line, goth family, but now their name is Joth, because you know how names evolve over time and stuff, you start mispronouncing things, um, or pronunciation changes, <laughs> and, and it, they're the Joths. You see? I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad she's having a nice bath. We started this legacy a couple years ago in real life. Um, and we, we started, like, we played a full 10 generation legacy and then we started playing Not So Berry on Gen 11. Um, so now we're like almost done with Not So Berry and it's Gen 20. So we've been playing this save for a long time. <laughs> we've been in here for a while. It's kind of fun. Don't worry if you haven't seen any of that stuff. If anything, now is like the perfect time to start watching because this Sim Jort is the new heir. Oh my God, stop. And so her life is kind of like its own mini-series. Um, so whatever Jort gets up to is kind of its own thing. So you don't need to worry about what happened before that, you know? Um, let's go back to our house for now. Instead of Cassie, it's Jassy? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I kind of like it. 20 gens in the save hasn't broken. I know, it's kind of wild that the save hasn't broken after this time. It, it has its moments, but um, it's kind of cool. It's kind of wild how the world doesn't change though. 200 years, you'd think there'd be some advancements. <laughs> 200 years and they still don't have cars. I mean, listen, I've said this a bunch of times before, but there is something kind of nice about the, the pedestrian focus of The Sims. Like, if real life, especially where I live, because I live in Florida, it's not pedestrian-focused at all. If it was if it was so pedestrian-focused in real life, that would be great. Walkable cities are so important, you know? Um, and we don't really have that in a lot of places in the world. A lot of places do have that. I don't want to hear about it. It's rude to brag. Um, but it is kind of nice. That's not why The Sims doesn't have cars. <laughs> but if you reframe the thought... It's like a utopia, you know? The first stream with the Potts family was April 5th, 2021. Oh my god. That is really shocking, actually, when you think about it like that. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I like that information. Is that your birthday, really? Wow, bath time. <laughs> Cats are so weird. We missed its third birthday. I didn't really even think about that, to be honest. 
Huh. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> so sorry, everybody. That's my bad. <laughs> okay, use the bathroom. Everyone else can go to bed then real quick. We'll get you to bed too. Okay, sorry for yawning chat. That's my bad. Sorry. Who was first, the Potts family or the Bell family? The Potts family was, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think so, at least. The save is older than your daughter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, what a weird way of thinking about that, huh? There are probably a lot of people here who have babies that are younger than this save is. <laughs> that is a really weird thought. Oh my. <laughs> Christini, Ari, thank you for the resubs. 24 months, Ari, and Laura, and Maria, and Jay, thank you for the subs too. Um, yeah, Elodie, I'm actually really curious about the new kits. I'm actually, um, I was joking in my video about it, but this is the first time that I'm more excited for the cast kit than the build kit. Because usually we get both at the same time. Um, this is my first time being more excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, usually I like the cast kits, but I'm usually more interested in build mode stuff just because I'm more of a builder in this game. Um, so, oh my god. Okay, we gotta, we gotta bathe pulp in the morning. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, I love the collab kits they do. I think the collab kits are some of their like finest moments. I really think that it's so cool to like get to a highlight a, a Sims creator. Um, and also, oh, hey Molly, thanks for the raid, welcome in. Uh, we we're just talking about the kits that are coming out on Thursday. Um, we were talking about how I, I just think it's so fun when they do the collab kits because it's great to like highlight a Sims creator, but I also think that it's a really cool perspective to know about like what is important to different types of players. Oh my god. <laughs> um, and and like with Ebonix's kit, she had them add an item that was like the first piece piece of CC that she ever made. She had them make it in the game for real. And that's like a huge part of her story as a creator and like why she got into making Sims content. And then for it to come so full circle and then like have them make a, an official one is just so, I just think that's so special. Um, and I think that the collab kits usually have like some of the best stuff because you get to like have these things like, think about the floor pillow that came out in that Modern Lux kit. We've been wanting that kind of thing for so long. We never got one. The frame TV too. Um, like how, that's just amazing. You know, I just think that's great. So anyway, <laughs> um, and like the curtain rods. Yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to the kit. So, <laughs> also, uh, Molly, my, uh, I know that Molly knows this, but um, to her community, <laughs> this is my cat snap. Um, she had her stitches removed today, so she gets to be cone free today. She had surgery a couple weeks ago, so she's been stuck in a cone for two weeks straight, and this is her first day of freedom. So, <laughs> Snap's having a great time. She's taking a bath right now. Um, forgive her, she hasn't bathed in two weeks <laughs> properly. So, oh, it's Bus! Um, I'm sorry about the smell. No, she's not actually stinky, but I think she's very much enjoying the freedom. I, you can tell she hasn't really had as much time to like completely bathe herself. She could groom a little bit when she was having unsuper or supervised cone free time, but she couldn't like, you know, do all of it. So, um, I think she's happy about that too. And she can get around a lot easier without the cone on too. Um, and like using the litter box, when she would try and dig in her litter box, I would try and take it off of her a lot when I saw her going to the litter box because she would try and dig, but she would like look down and she couldn't see where she was digging, which would then result in her burying her face in the litter box a little bit and then getting the litter all over her cone, which is kind of gross. So. <laughs> kind of a nasty thought actually, but it's okay. So I would try and take it off of her if, if she was using it and like I was, I saw her, you know, so that she could like dig a little bit easier. <laughs> Cause it was, it was kind of pitiful. Um, 
things that I didn't think about. No, she's not trapped in my office today, Tara. I had her locked in here. I was keeping her with me like 24 seven before because truthfully, I was worried about her getting like hurt by the cone. It was for nothing because it never happened, but I was worried about her like trying to take the cone off and like getting her arm stuck in it or something. So I, I really didn't want her to be like unsupervised, especially when she was on meds because she couldn't walk properly. Um, so I, I didn't want her to be unsupervised, but now she came in here on her own. The door's not closed. She's not trapped. She just wants to be in here. So <laughs> she's, she's not stuck with us. She's here by choice today, <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, you can come get some leftovers, why don't you? Um, and then Victoria, Sassy, Cridley, Christini, thank you for the subs. Um, she says, don't worry, Kayla, I forgive you. Yeah, I was joking <laughs> earlier uh, when I was texting my parents about like, my like journey to the vet because um, I took her cone off this morning and I could tell she was like, yes no cone, I'm free. And then I immediately picked her up and put her in a box. <laughs> like I trapped her in the carrier and then brought her into the car. So she had this like, I'm free, wait, now I'm in prison. <laughs> and I felt so bad. But, and then she had to go and like get her stitches out, which I cannot imagine was a comfortable experience. But at least now she's good. It's over now, like everything's better. But I, we, we had like a betrayal moment earlier where she got excited and then I ripped it away from her. <laughs> I'm sorry, it had to be done. It had to be done. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah, she's been through it, but it's okay. A uh, kitten, you don't have to build a new house for every new generation and not so very. I personally kind of like making a new house for all the new generations. Um, that's something that I kind of, oh, okay. That's something that I kind of enjoy because um, it's kind of fun for me to make up the new houses and decorate them for each sim, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, it's happening again. They keep autonomously getting stuck with, ugh, so annoying. I'm gonna cheat the weeds away. If there's any other weeds, I'll do those too. There, okay. I think that you should be able to come spray these for bugs though. And that should be okay. Harvest all, I'll cheat these down. So if you haven't seen it, there's a big glitch with the weeds where your sims get permanently stuck in a loop. So you have to cheat them away. Otherwise they'll never be able to get rid of the weeds. So, uh oh, are you gonna ditch me? No, you're just rotating, okay. It's very sad though. All right. Oh. Oh, let's go to high school together. Actually, let's go with them. I kind of like that idea. But yeah, it makes it so it's not fun to play with the gardening skill right now. It's just completely ruined. It's really frustrating. But. Thought they'd have fixed that in the recent laundry list. No, the, the bug they fixed today was plants having an aura of stink where it looks like they're dead, but they're not actually dead. So they did fix a gardening bug today, but not all of them. <laughs> so, um, really lovely. <laughs> I'd honestly rather the stink than the, the glitch that we're having with the weeds. The stink is actually better, to be honest, but whatever. Okay. Um, well, you have morning free time. It wants you to learn about the new school from the principal. I don't think I'll be doing that. Oh, you can't do your homework. Okay. You want to meet the other kids? Do you have the same name? Oh my god, and they're friends. Oh, that's so cute. I'll talk to you both. <laughs> I like when that kind of thing happens. <laughs> They're sitting together. Name twins. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, that's the wrong sim. I was gonna have you do it. Well, you can talk to this sim, Adrian. Why not? Sounds like fun. How do I clear up the weeds? Oh, I cheated them away. Um, Kind of annoying. I use cheats for it. 
Okay. Oh, I like this sim. She seems nice. Do you wanna be- <laughs> I almost clicked flick nose. Sometimes when I'm talking to sims, I'll just like kind of randomly click options, and then I realize that some of them are actually kind of mean. <laughs> like, imagine you meet a new kid at school, it's your first day of school, and you're like talking to some girl before class starts, and she flicks you in the nose, randomly. Okay. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, this is my high school. I built this one. Um, this was the first high school that I built with the pack when it first came out, I think. Um, I was pretty proud of this one. I liked it. It's nice. We have like the cafeteria. There's like a teacher's lounge library with computers. There's a, a um, classroom on either side. I think this is just base game and high school years too. I don't think it uses any packs. Upstairs, there's like an art room and a music room, woodworking, gym. Jort can like deception. Okay, our free time ends in half an hour, so. It's on the gallery, yeah. I've built a couple of high schools. They're all on the gallery. I think you can filter by high school on the gallery, so you should be able to find it. Oh, she's back in a circle. Good job. Jort is definitely going to like Deception. Oh my god. It's foreshadowing for when she's going to cheat on her spouse and lie about it. So. <laughs> Alright, class is over. Now it's lunchtime. Let's get some food. Um, how about a veggie slider? That sounds like fun. Do you, Small Nerd? I'm glad that you like that. Yeah, I I like this high school version that I built. Um, I think that the default high school is really... Mm, not so good, you know? So, I'm not obsessed with it. I never play in the default version. <laughs> it's empty? Yeah. Yeah. The default's empty. It's kind of dark. I don't know. I just can't bring myself to use it. So. <laughs> too big and too empty. Yeah, we're all kind of on the same page. I don't really understand why that is. Because I understand, like, the cheating limitations and how they can't use, like, move objects and stuff. But, like, when I did the builds for Growing Together and I built the... Um, the rec center for it. You just know that if they built the rec center, it would have had half as many items. But they let me use the ones- I couldn't use more than what I had. I was kind of stuck with that many. And we were like a little bit on the high side. But... I don't know. They could have done more for the high school. You know? Um, so that's kind of sad. But... <laughs> I don't like thinking about the rec center. I feel like I did a bad job, so I get embarrassed when I think about it. But, it's okay. Yeah, again, this is- it's- it just goes to show you how powerful collaboration is, and how it's really good when they get simmers involved. Not just talking about me, but like, all the way around. It's good when they do that. <laughs> it's not laziness, no. I- I think that it's, uh, them being overly cautious. And also, maybe, um, not being the best builders. Which, I don't mean that to be mean. I just mean that, like, the, you know, people that make build content, like, on a daily basis on YouTube, just will be better at building than them. On, just, that's just the way it is. Again, not talking about me, but, like, any simmer they've worked with to make the builds for a pack. It's like, these people building the sims every day, you know? Um, and they make the sims, but they don't always build in the sims, so... Um, anyway, and they want the game- they're, they try and, like, make it so it runs on, like, minimum spec computers, basically, which is good, um, but I think they could push it a little bit further sometimes. Um, but, anyway. Okay, class is starting again, let's go back. We've not actually met, like, anybody. <laughs> 
Is Jas here by any chance? I don't think so. Olivia. Rosalie, not Rosemary. This sim, I think, is related to Rosemary. They have the same last name. So. It's kind of like how you can build a decent house in The Sims, but you definitely couldn't make a video game. Exactly. <laughs> Look, I can build in The Sims pretty well, but I couldn't do their job. So there you go. I don't know who does the builds for the pack either. I know that they used to have the environment team do them. Um, like people who work on like this stuff out in the environment. But being able to do this is a totally different ball game than using the existing tools in the game to make a, a like separate build, you know? Um, so they have a lot of expertise, but in like using the game in a different way and playing it a different way because they're decorating stuff that we can't touch and not having to use like the wall tool you know that we're stuck with um so that kind of complicates things for them um have I made another rec center um we've done I did at least one maybe two no I've done two rec centers I think to be honest this happened to me with the lots in snowy escape too um I, because I did the builds for them, the rec center caused me so much heartache as I was building that lot that it's hard for me to look at and it's hard for me to like my own build. It's like I'm my own biggest critic. And it's also hard for me to think about wanting to make another rec center because I spent such a ridiculous number of hours on that rec center. <laughs> <laughs> and like you can't even tell but oh my god the number of like iterations and stuff to do the builds for their official packs um it's i've i've seen that rec center enough that i just can't look at it but now it's been like a year it's been over a year since i did that build like a year and a half almost even so i we could do a rec center again soon i've had some time and space to you know process <laughs> But I think that would happen to anybody. Like anytime you spend that much time on something, it's like you really grow to like pick it apart and like look at things that you don't like about it and stuff that I would have changed if I had like more, um, like if I could use cheats or whatever. So um, yeah, I mean, there's so many restrictions in those EA builds because we weren't allowed to use move objects. You couldn't alt place anything. Um, you could only use so many objects. Uh, and like, obviously it was just base game in the new pack, which is fine, but um, it does make it harder to do and it's a 64 by 64 lot trying to do a build that big on a lot that big with limited objects oh my gosh <laughs> and the like object restrictions it's not like here you can have 10 items um it's a little bit more different than that they run like performance tests to see how it's going because the item counts it's different like um like a plant for decoration isn't as intensive as a chair. And the reason is because when a sim has like 50 chairs on a lot, they're trying to decide where am I gonna sit? I could sit there, 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 there. And that can increase lag because they have so many options that they're trying to pick between. Um, so the, like, you have to think about that when you're trying to do the official builds and like, um, you know, try not to have too much extra, but have enough that it's full but not so much that it causes problems <laughs> and like really balance it in a weird way. And I don't really know how it's gonna look until they run a test on it and then send it back to me and say, okay, this is too much or this is not enough or whatever. And also it's not just what's on the lot, it's also what's in the environment around the lot that it's trying to load. Um, so like, you know, if there's a playground next to your neighborhood in Newcrest or like the splash pad in the neighborhood and growing together, um, that's also counting because there is a splash pad over there that's also like on the lot or like around the environment. So different lots have different situations too um, for what it's trying to load. So um, it's kind of complicated and we're doing those builds. So it's interesting. <laughs> um, it's kind of fun to think about, but it's, it's a little bit different than you might look at it on face value. You can go to the gym. Oh, I'll go to your house. Oh my gosh, that's Rosemary. We'll go hang out with her. That sounds like fun. 
Yeah, I would do it again if they invited me to. I It was like the coolest thing I've ever gotten to do. I really loved being able to see the behind the scenes and like learn about how it works. And then to like have my own build in the game is so cool. I would, I would do it again in a heartbeat if they asked me to. Um, to be honest, there's not much that The Sims could ask me to do that I would say no to. <laughs> so <laughs> if they asked me to do pretty much anything, I'd be like, yeah. And I'll do it for free. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't tell them that, but... I would I would pretty much do whatever they asked me to do. <laughs> so just because it would be it's such a cool opportunity, you know um, Okay, let me talk to this rosemary sim a little bit more um, What if they asked me to make a cast kit? Oh If they asked me to make a creative sim kit, I'd be really sad <laughs> I would really rather not do that. I, if they asked me to make a cast kit, I would say, please, could it be not a cast kit? <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't love that. I would try and convince them otherwise if they asked me to do that. <laughs> I don't think they would though. I don't think that would be very smart of them. If they were going to ask me to do a kit, they wouldn't be like, do a kit that you always complain about. Right? Anyway. Oh, don't be mean! What's wrong with you? Oh, you're very silly. Don't tease mercilessly! Oh my god, sorry. I keep clicking on bad things. Apologize. Um. Share photos. She just took selfies. She does it again. A cat lover casket? Could you imagine? It's like a whole bunch of different cat sweaters. And that's all. <laughs> I would actually, I would like that to be honest. If they did that. <laughs> okay, maybe ask about career. She's gonna say I'm in high school. I don't think that teens ever randomize part-time jobs in The Sims 4. I don't know if I've ever had a teen that like randomly got its own part-time job. The Sims 4 just kitten around. <laughs> I would like it. Where's the bathroom in this house? It's just the one upstairs. I'll come use the bathroom before I pee my pants. Um, I think it's from MC Command Center. Oh, that's probably what it is. Probably is a mod thing. Um... Stanley's hot dog cast kit. Could you imagine? It's like a series of different hot dog outfits. There's like a dog hot dog outfit and a cat hot dog outfit and a baby hot dog outfit. They should make a hot dog outfit for toddlers. They should actually do that. Like for real, not kidding. They should do that. I would like that. <laughs> Virtual, thank you for the 11 month resub and Plum with the six months. Thanks so much. All right, let's go back home. And for horses, <laughs> could you imagine? Okay, let's go to Henford on Bagley again. Back to the house, please. A secret hot dog aspiration. Oh, she's doing a face mask. That would be kind of fun. Like the grilled cheese one, but it's hot dogs. Oh my gosh, she curled up tighter. That's so cute. I'm going to be responsible and not fall asleep at 6 a.m. So I'm going to bed now. I will not be reading until 5 a.m. tonight. Tilly, you got this. I'm so proud of you. That is a good idea. <laughs> Have a good night. I'll see you later. 5 a.m. reading is wild. I don't know if I could do it. I stay up until like 1 a.m. reading sometimes, but that's really late for me. That's like I'm having a wild night. Staying up until 1 a.m. reading my book. <laughs> That's like maybe once a month. <laughs> um, okay, we're back home. For our aspiration, we have to mess around in the cuddle carts, but things have not really been going that well for us in my attempts to find someone to date me. Um, so we probably need to call up... Oh, oh my god. I thought I just saw something out of the corner of my eye. There's nobody there. I like completely imagine that. I'm sorry, everybody. That was, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I like jump scared myself. There's nothing right there. Ooh. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. It's fine. I don't know. I felt something. <laughs> I made it up. You good? I think so. I don't know. 
Very weird. Not even Rick. No, my Rick cardboard cutout's in my closet. So there will be no Rick. Okay, she's here. I'm gonna try and see if we can flirt with her a little bit more uh, and see if we can fix that. Embracing might be a bad idea. <laughs> it's okay, Snap will protect you. <laughs> You're so right. This cat, she's totally a guard cat. She'll she'll help so much if something happens. She wouldn't even notice someone came into this room. She like actually wouldn't hear or know. <laughs> Look, you're all joking about my Rick Astley cardboard cutout being in the closet, but if you had a giant cardboard cutout, you would hide it in the closet too. And you would face it towards the wall so that you wouldn't walk into the closet in the dark and then see it and get absolutely terrified by a man being in there. So, listen, you're the same as me. <laughs> we would all do it. <laughs> it's too much. Speaking from experience, it's quite creepy when you like walk into a room and your cardboard cutout is there and you forgot. Like I had him downstairs in the kitchen um, when I did that baking stream for Rick Astley's birthday. And then I like finished the baking stream. I went and took a shower. I came back into the kitchen and like it had, the sun had set in the process in between that time. So it was kind of dark in there. So I'm walking back in absolutely terrified, jump scared by there being a man in the dark kitchen. No, it was my cardboard cutout and I put it there. And I, in the span of like 20 minutes had forgotten. <laughs> Did you tipsy? I saw, I heard about them doing that. Um, and I thought the same thing. I was like, now there's absolutely no way that I could do that. Haunted stuff, not for me. I can't handle it. I'm so weak and embarrassed I, at, at, about everything. You used to hide your Harry Styles cardboard cutout around the house and scare your family. <laughs> this one time in my old house, I used to live in a townhouse that was very dark because it was a townhouse, no windows in the front of the house downstairs. And my dad was coming over. I think, I think he was like, like cat sitting for me. So I had like flown out that morning or something and he was coming over that afternoon. And so I put my Rick Ashley cardboard cutout inside the house, like right in front of the front door. So when he opened the door, there would be Rick <laughs> when he got there. And I got him so good. He, he was like calling me, like yelling because he was so distraught over the fact that Rick was right there when he walked in. How scary would that be though? You're, try you're going to an empty house, so you think, and then there's a man in the front door <laughs> when you get there. I loved it. It was funny. Anyway, it's nice to have life-size car life cardboard cutouts. You can really make good use of them sometimes, you know? Okay, let's go to sleep. And it's only 10 p.m., but that's fine. Have you purple? Oh, that would, that's too scary for me. That is way too scary for me. I couldn't handle it. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, Ginger, your sister has a cardboard cutout of Iron Man that watches you sleep. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that reminds me, when I was a kid, I had this, I don't know how big it actually was, but in my mind, it was absolutely massive. I got given this giant teddy bear. It was a Care Bear, huge. Like to me, it was like the size of me, but I was also like five at the time. Oh, Snappy stood up. And my friend gave it to me when we moved to Florida as like a goodbye, good luck kind of gift. Um, and so we had it in my bedroom when we moved to Florida. And I remember being kind of like freaked out by my bedroom when we first got here. Cause like, I wasn't used to it. It was new, I was a child. And the Care Bear was like sitting on the other end of my room, but it was like across the way from my bed. And I remember like laying there and being like, it's staring at me and I had to get up and turn it like to face the wall. And I was probably five years old, but I have a vivid memory of being scared of the giant Care Bear plushie at night. So. <laughs> Why is Princess bald? Oh, cause my CC. 
I accidentally saved the game. When I first loaded into the save earlier with my mods disabled, I saved by accident. So she's bald now because her CC was gone and then I saved. My CC's back now, but she's... I have, I have to put it back on her head. Where's the plushie now? I have no idea. The horrifying part of this is that that was 20 years ago. <laughs> so, I don't know where the plushie is now. Um, and I don't... And that's kind of scary to think about. So... <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. Did that one's looking for a broken mod? Oh no, it's horrible when that happens. It, it's horrible when that happens, when you like mess up your saves. Luckily, I don't have that much CC in this save, so it's not too big of a deal. You were 25? Not yet, but I will be in August. Um, so not quite yet, but soon. I know. Feed, treat, fill food, play with. Shut up, Christine. Don't be rude. <laughs> Don't be rude. Um, yes, I am staying up for the Taylor album. Yeah, Gaming Star. We're gonna stream until midnight on Thursday um, to wait for the Taylor Swift album. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, we'll be here together. I think I'm gonna play Stardew and wait, which is funny because we streamed Stardew Valley until her last album came out. I'm pretty sure we were playing with the expanded mod, but this time um, we're gonna play with 1.6. So. <laughs> okay, are you done? It's 3 a.m. Oh, I didn't realize it was the middle of the night. I'm sorry. I thought it was earlier because you were more rested. Or l later, I guess? Yeah, we're on year two in Stardew right now. We're on fall of year two in Stardew Valley. So we're getting there. She's been licking the edge of her baldness a lot. It makes me think that it's probably kind of itchy. Oh, now that's your scar. <laughs> Um, but she's been licking the edge of her baldness a lot, which I guess it must be itchy. She's allowed to- the vet said it's fine, so. Um, yeah, I bet it feels really weird to her having it like that. And now it's gonna grow back and be itchy, and like, she- the scar is definitely probably kind of itchy. So. Okay. Everybody can sleep. It's only- or- Keep sleeping and then go back to sleep if you're already awake, because it is only 5 a.m. <laughs> Do that when you cut your hair short. That makes sense. I can totally see that, Sonora. It just looks so weird where her tail starts. <laughs> it she's good and she means healing. Yeah, exactly. Um, the vet was saying it's cleaning up nicely. Oh my god, this kid's doing it again! I'm so sick of this. I- the thing is, I would genuinely just get rid of this garden, but look! Alphaba is in the gardening career! So I can't! She needs it because she's literally in the gardening career. Oh, did I kill these both? Spray area for bugs. Evolve. Evolve. Okay, that'll be good. You can get your skill up a little bit more. Can cats have lotion or something to help with the itchy? Um, I don't know. They- I didn't ask about it because it didn't seem like it was that itchy. I actually have a- I won't put it on her scar without asking the vet. I don't think she needs it, but I do have like an itchy, um, like soothing cream because when Sunny, uh, had that problem where she was, uh, anxiously scratching her neck before she- or, like after she got spayed, um, she made herself bald and the vet gave us like a cream to put on it where she was doing it um, to like help soothe the itchy space. So I actually do have itchy cream for cats, <laughs> but I wouldn't put it on her without talking to the vet about it. Um, I don't know if she needs it. The vet told me today that I could like press a warm wet cloth onto her scab to help the scab because it will scab over and fall off, um, which I had never thought about or heard of before, but I guess I'll look into that. <laughs> Maybe that would help? I don't know. Um, but... No, I wouldn't- you shouldn't put aloe on it. I don't- I'm not gonna put anything on her. The vet didn't say that, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm- I feel as though al aloe would be, like, maybe toxic. <laughs> Everything's toxic, so maybe don't do that. <laughs> Just be careful, you know? You gotta- you gotta look out for the ingredients in these things, you know? Um... 
yeah, talk to your vet if you're thinking about any of that sort of thing before you do stuff like that, just in case. Because that seems dangerous. Aloe is not good for cats. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. I think that's probably poison. So, don't, don't put lotion on your cat. <laughs> don't do that. I was talking about a prescription thing that was given to my cat because she had an issue. That's different. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, you should be really careful because, um, most things honestly are toxic. A lot of things that people have in their house are toxic to cats. Um, flowers, like pretty much any flower that you might buy in like a flower arrangement, toxic to cats to the point where it might kill them. If you have a lily in your house and you have a cat, you need to get rid of it immediately. Even the pollen can literally kill your cat. There's a lot of stuff like that people don't know about. Um, that's pretty common. A lot of essential oils too are dangerous for cats um, and people might not realize that and will use them. So um, you gotta be careful. <laughs> so even like the water in the vase. Yeah, lilies are extremely dangerous. A lot of people, it stresses me out how many people don't know about how bad flowers are for cats and how common people with cats like have flowers in their house because they get given flower arrangements and it's well-intentioned, but oh my God. <laughs> yeah, eucalyptus too, yeah. Um, also very bad. Um, even like if you have house plants, like not just flower arrangements, but house plants, good to check on those and make sure they aren't toxic too. Um, Cause you don't want your cat to like bite it and then get hurt, so. Um, that's why you have the Lego flower sets. Yeah, <laughs> that is good. Um, that's a, a much better option. So is it just if they eat it? It depends on the kind of plant, Ellie. Um, like with lilies, they don't have to just eat it. If they put their face near it, they can die. And I'm not exaggerating. Like you're talking like, like multiple overnight hospital stay trying to save this cat's life. And then they might have like permanent lasting issues for the rest of their life just from getting their face close to a lily. Um, so lilies you really cannot have in your house if you have cats, it's so dangerous. Look, the pollen, the water, anything about a lily, bad. <laughs> um, so you gotta make sure you look into what sorts of flowers are safe um, before you put them in your house. Yeah, and like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars if they're able to survive it. Um, which again is a scary thought, but just good to think about because um, you might not know. So, okay, Moss has work in an hour. They need to max the mixology skill. We're level eight and a half, so we'll keep doing that now. Um, and I found this out after I named my cat Lily. <laughs> Your cat has kind of like a hardcore name, you know? <laughs> roses are safe. That's a, that's a good point. Roses are safe. So if you're gonna give someone flowers or if you wanna have flowers in your house, pure roses, but don't have like uh, extra like additions in there. Um, but you, if you have roses, that should be, that'll be fine for them. So for a cat, that's very metal. <laughs> oh, poinsettias are bad for cats too. Um, a lot of people might not realize that, but poinsettias are dangerous for cats too. And everybody has poinsettias at Christmas time. Um, but those are also bad. So something to keep in mind. Okay, everyone off to bed. I mean, off to work, sorry. <laughs> Said the wrong thing. Bad for dogs even as well, yeah. Um, your neighbor's cat is named Lily too, really? <laughs> Pulp is running away? Oh, I haven't bathed her still. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Well. <laughs> this big problem. That is a big problem. Uh-oh. <laughs> crochet flowers are so fun. Yeah, Dan actually gave me crochet flowers for Christmas. Um, he bought some uh, off Etsy, some crochet flowers to give me for Christmas. I really like them, they're kind of cute. I have them on my bookshelf downstairs. Um, but they're really pretty and that's fun and no one's gonna die from those. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like it. The runaway pets will come back. Yeah, we just gotta have to post a thing about it online and 
It'll be fine. It will be fine. She's done bathing again. Really, Brew? <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, my kittens don't really bite or get into things, thankfully. Um, but they they probably would destroy the crochet flowers if if they really thought about it too much. <laughs> so it's a good thing they're up high on the shelf where it's not cat accessible. At least I don't think it's cat accessible. You know, thought Pulp died. Oh no, Pulp has never died. Pulp is actually immortal. I keep giving her age down treats because I can't have her die. It's too much for me. Oh, everyone, the bakery is open. She's accepting orders now. She's decided she's going into work. Um, so if you if you want any uh, biscuits, baked treats, she's needing some bread right now for you. So <laughs> this is now a baking stream, actually. <laughs> Hold on. Get a better angle for you. There you go. Excellent. All right, Algie's calling a chat. You can talk to your brother. That's probably for the best. Oh, yes, I'll go on a date with you. Let's do it. Can I please have a dinner roll, Snap? Actually, I'm kind of hungry, Snappy, so if you could, like, get a move on, that would be great. <laughs> She's so funny. I. It's so funny. She barely needs anything. We have two of these beds. She always needs these beds. I'll be laying in bed at night and I can hear it like as she's kneading in her bed because it's underneath my bed, like kind of towards the edge, this other one. Um, and she sits in there and she needs it at night. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Hello. Well, I'm here to talk to you. Tell a funny story. Ask for advice. Rhapsodize about piano sonatas. Okay, but anyway, she likes that one. I'm glad I have two. I bought a second one because when I bought it, I bought it new because I was getting a bed for the kittens when we first found them. And then I was like, oh, Snappy would love this because she loves her other bed. So I was like, I'm going to buy them both one because it's only fair. So <laughs> now we have two of them. <laughs> but it's worth it because she likes it. So she uses them all. Okay, she did ditch me. I need to mess around in the cuddle carts. So I might actually go to the cuddle carts now. The kittens don't use the bed really. They'll sit in the one underneath my bed sometimes, but it's mostly snaps and I think that they know that, so they don't really use it. Um, but sometimes they have like a, a real fascination with the things that Snappy likes. So sometimes they'll see Snappy like sleeping somewhere or hanging out in a bed or something. And then as soon as she leaves, they're like, I'm gonna sit there. So I wouldn't be surprised because Snap, uh, Shrimp came up here and he saw her asleep and like sniffed her earlier. I wouldn't be surprised if like tomorrow Shrimp was in the bed. Cause he's like, oh, must be a good spot. <laughs> but that happens to me a lot when I'm like cuddling with Snappy in bed at nighttime. Cause she usually puts me to bed and then leaves. And so she'll like curl up in my arm and fall asleep with me in the bed. And then she'll leave and I'll wake up and Sunny's there in my arm. <laughs> And it's like exactly the same position. She like totally copycats her, which is kind of cute, <laughs> but they, they do copycat whatever Snap does. The things that Snappy likes, they usually try and do it too. So they're learning from her. She's teaching them how to be cats. And they've taught her things as well. I That's just such a cute thing about having like multiple cats, but I have had a cat water fountain for ages. Snap never drinks out of it. She never uses it, or at least she never did to the point where I stopped trying. Like I just unplugged it and put it away. We found the kittens, I got it back out. The kittens love it, they always drink out of it. Snappy sees them drinking out of it and now she does it too. So now Snap always drinks out of the water fountain too. But she like didn't understand. She would like put her paw in it and play with it but not drink it. But she like the kittens taught her how to do it. <laughs> so now she drinks out of the water fountain, <laughs> which is kind of adorable. They're learning, they're learning. Okay, I'm gonna do a romantic ride. I like it. She was like, oh, that's how that works. <laughs> Maybe you're onto something actually. Uh, Jubilation, Johnny, Poodles, Abby, thank you for the subs. Um, 
Wait, I can drink this? That changes everything. Yeah, basically. Okay, they're going into the cuddle cards. We're gonna have to woohoo in there in a minute, but not yet. The stars have aligned and Jort takes her crush on the cuddle carts, <laughs> where all good relationships begin. The lighting, the music, the employee awkwardly standing in the corner changing a light bulb, everything the beginning of a budding everything the beginning of a budding romance needs. The time has come. Does Jort take the first step and attempt to start some romance, or does she take it easy and keep a casual romance? Things don't go as well as Jort would have liked. Apparently, <laughs> apparently being asked to avo cuddle. Well, <laughs> wait, let me move my mic so I can see it. While holding up an avocado isn't as romantic as the internet said it would be. Desandra politely laughs and scoots toward the opposite side of the cart. <laughs> oh no. Oh, did she leave? Oh, she completely dished me. She like fully left the room. I didn't even see her. Where'd you go? Oh, she's drinking water. She has a water bowl on the side of my desk. She's drinking water. She didn't leave the room. It's a water break. Don't worry about it. She's hungry or thirsty, I mean. Okay, we are, she is interested in me romantically though. Just not in that awkward cuddle carts kind of way. Oh, maybe you should post um, about the missing pet before we forget. Hydrate everybody, it's a good time. Drink some water, you know? She might come back. Oh. No, she won't come back. She did in fact completely leave the room. So, it's okay, we got two hours. That's a lot of cat cam. Okay, well, we're both gonna eat a little bit, I guess. I'm kind of sad. I don't know if we'll be able to woohoo in the cuddle carts today. That's fine. Who's gonna be the girlfriend? Cassandra or Rosemary? Well, so we're gonna date this sim first and then dump her because we have to break up with a sim for our aspiration which is such a weird thing to say. <laughs> but we have to break up with the Sim for our aspiration, and I don't want to break up with Rosemary. So we're gonna date Cassandra first. Jass is her name, actually. Um, but we'll start there. That's the plan. And also, for this generation, we have to cheat on our spouse and keep it a secret for all of time, and we're probably gonna cheat on Rosemary with Jass at some point in the future. So, if this family is multiple generations in, how is Cassandra Goss still around? It's because it's it's actually Jassandra Joth. Um, the, it's it's a different sim. It's an alternate universe at this point. So it's not Cassie. It's probably Cassie's great 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 twenty times grandkid. So it's Jassy. We're way into the future now. We just placed them down, um, is the joke. We liked the idea of it, so. That was the concept. Gloomy compliment. You have a crush on her? That's good. That's what I wanted. Oh. Now we're not sad anymore. Hold on. Suave kiss. I'd like to see if we can woohoo in the cuddle carts. My mom wants to duel me? No. I will do that, but not yet. <laughs> I'm not going to, I've not even attempted to be a spellcaster at all. Uh oh, she said no. Okay, never mind. I'll go to the magic realm then. I'll go duel my mom instead. Not now, mom, not the time. I'm on a date. So it's not going well. So it's time to go duel. You know? Yeah, we haven't actually started any magic at all yet, so we probably should do it a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> Poop the snoot, thanks for the sub gift. And Harriet and Meg and Zipina, thank you for the subs too. Um, okay, well, I guess we head out. 
We're gonna get absolutely destroyed when we try and do this. You just finished your degree! Madsy, congratulations! That is amazing! I'm really happy for you. Um, okay. So we are here. Let me call up mom. Whoa, are you good? Maybe I'll challenge you to a duel. Magic. Friendly duel. Yeah. I'm wearing my little clothes. Are you gonna go? Yeah. Okay, well, you're able to teleport. Oh, there's already people dueling. Good luck. The fact that she just teleported over here and said good luck to her daughter. <laughs> All right, let's see how it goes. This is our first time using magic. Okay, we're not really doing much. You're actually doing okay. You're not getting completely uh, destroyed. Whoa, take a screenshot. That's for the scrapbook. Uh oh. Oh, that's so messed up. And then to cheer about it? This is your child. <gasps> Snappy! <gasps> She left and came back. Look, she's back. Maybe she went downstairs to get a snack because I don't have her food in here today. Maybe that's what it was. She also could have used the litter box downstairs instead because she that's her preferred litter box, not the one that's up here. So she might have done that too. I'm so glad she came back. That's so cute. Rufus. <laughs> it makes you want to cry. I love my cat. Okay, um, while you're here, do you want to come get to know the- Oh, it's already 11 p.m. We should go to bed soon. She's staring at something. Oh, shrimp's in here. <laughs> That's what she's staring at. I was wondering what she was looking at. <laughs> There's another cat. That's why. Hi, shrimpy. Come here. You followed her upstairs? Yeah, okay. You can't really tell, but it is a cat. He looks like a black blob, but he is a cat. What? Oh my goodness, let's go home. He's leaving now. That's so rude. He got scared away, Snap, don't worry. You're safe. <laughs> okay, let's go back home with your mother, yes? Does she ever sleep with the kitties? Um, what I would say is she does not sleep with them. They sleep with her. She has to be asleep first and then they can get near her. Um, normally she doesn't want them to be that close to her, but she will, if she falls asleep, then they'll show up. Is kind of how it goes. <laughs> so. They like her. She doesn't love them. She tolerates them and plays with them sometimes, but not always. She has her moments. You know? <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, we're back home. Everybody goes to bed again, please. Off to sleep. You to sleep as well. Oh, I saw somebody in chat earlier ask if I was going to Twitch- wait, wrong sim. If I was going to TwitchCon EU, and the answer is yes, I am going to TwitchCon EU. I forgot to mention that um, when you asked. I've talked about it on stream before, but I didn't say it today, so um, worth bringing up again. I will be there at TwitchCon Rotterdam this year. It's in the end of June-ish, um, but I will be there. So we're getting there. Um, it'll be fun. I booked my hotel for it yesterday because Twitch gave me a link to their room block. I paid for it, but they did have a room block. <laughs> so I was talking about that before, how at VidCon um, pays for like your hotel and your flight. TwitchCon doesn't pay for anything. 
They did promise that they would give me um, the backstage access though, again, which before they said they didn't have budget for, which personally I didn't really understand. Um, but I learned that yesterday I would get the backstage access, which is lovely. Thank you, Twitch. <laughs> I I just want to go in through the back door because I felt really unsafe getting non-stop stopped before security at the last convention um, Which seems like a reasonable request to go in through the back door because I had that in Vegas um, And you would think that they would want you to do that too You know <laughs> But they did realize that yes, they do so that's nice of them. And and Dan is allowed to come back too, which is also good. A budget for opening two doors. Well, it's because they have like a lounge um, and they put like food in there and stuff. So they probably do try and have like a limited number of people that have access to it. But I don't care about the snacks. I just want to go in the back door. That's all. I didn't ask for much, <laughs> but I think that's why it's because they have snacks, but it's okay. It's very nice of them to even consider it, I guess. It's just funny because at VidCon, they were like, we'll pay for everything, like there's no problem. Oh, <gasps> Georgia, oh, that's their great uncle or something. I'm glad that he's here. Um, you would only want the snacks. <laughs> I will say it is nice to have that because um, they had like, uh, like, they were catering it a little bit, um, but a lot of it was food that I couldn't eat because it was like meat and stuff. Um, but it is nice to have options like that, so. And they had like bags of chips and like candy in there, which is helpful at conventions because, you know, you're there all day. There's some food. So that's nice of them. Thank you, Twitch, for the chocolate bar. <laughs> Much appreciated. Um, okay, so. Back to sleep, 2 a.m. What are you doing awake? Go, go, go. Who has snacks? Oh, Twitch. <laughs> At TwitchCon. I'll be really curious to see what's different about TwitchCon EU versus TwitchCon San Diego too. Wouldn't Dan want the snacks too? Yeah, Dan will eat the snacks too. It'll be good. It'll be great for him to have. <laughs> I will have a meet and greet, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they haven't scheduled the time for that yet. At least I don't think. Um, although last year it just popped up on the schedule, so, and I didn't know until it was on there, but I, I told them I would do a meet and greet, so I will have one, I just don't know when it will be yet. I'll, I'll let you know when, once I find out. Last year in Vegas, um, my chat told me that I had a meet and greet, and I said, really? <laughs> I didn't know that yet. <laughs> Um, I said yes to it, but I didn't know they had actually scheduled it until chat was like, you have a meet and greet on Saturday at 2 p.m. or whatever it was. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I have a meet and greet on Saturday at 2 p.m. So, but you could see it on the schedule. Um, people looked, so. Um, no, he's not, Cookie. No, he's not. Um, okay, would you like to use the bathroom? Sorry, you're so stinky. Yikes. TwitchCon is going to be in San Diego this year in the U.S. PMR. It's in Rotterdam for TwitchCon EU, and it'll be in San Diego for TwitchCon US, um, which I think is better. Um, I'm, I'm. You were the first person in line. Oh my gosh, Laura! I remember. That's so cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, but yeah, I think that San Diego is a better location for the convention than Vegas. Um, I didn't really like it being in Vegas. It wasn't helped by them setting up for the F1 race. Um, cause it was an absolute, like Vegas was just a mess <laughs> and there was so much going on and you couldn't get anywhere because the traffic was so bad because they had like half the roads closed. Um, so it was just, a, it was uh, honestly kind of rough in Vegas. I think that San Diego is a bit better for hosting the convention. It was interesting to see, but, um, I would prefer to not go back to Vegas. <laughs> I'll be happy if I never have to go back to Vegas in my life again, to be honest. Um, I've had enough. <laughs> it's not terrible, but it was enough, you know? That was at VidCon, Cavity. That was in, at VidCon last year in Anaheim. Okay, Brew. <laughs> Vegas is fine at its best, but not so good for conventions. Yeah, well, I think also part of the problem is that um, 
it's everything was so spread out and so hard to get around to at least in san diego it's like a little bit like more centralized with the stuff that was going on in vegas it sounds like the strip is just one street right but actually it's so everything is so far away it's like it doesn't look like it is because there's like only so many hotels but the hotels are massive like every single one of those hotels basically has its own convention center inside so they're enormous like the biggest hotels you've ever seen so you can't really walk between them like it's it's they're so far away um and it's hot and the streets aren't very walkable and there's all this construction so you extra couldn't walk and and it was just like you can't really get around that easily um and it, it's it's just weird um the, con the construction didn't help because they had a lot of like sidewalks and roads blocked off because they were setting up stands for the f1 race because i think the f1 race was like two weeks later or something so it was like very all at the same time um so they were like peak construction and there was a huge festival going on too so it just didn't help the timing but um yeah it wasn't uh great <laughs> yeah i'm going to twitchcon eu that's what, we're that's what we started talking about um we'll be there at the twitchcon eu um okay so you are finally awake um Let's go get some leftovers, yes? Um, you're going to Vegas for the first time next month? I'm sure it'll be better because the construction will be stopped. I'm sure you'll have a better time because the F1 race isn't happening. Um, so it'll be good. Yeah, I, I loved- Sophia Nygaard made a video where they went to every hotel on the Strip and they stayed at all of them. And I just thought that was the most fun video. Me and Dan rewatched that while we were in Vegas. Um, cause the day that we got there, we went on kind of like a grand tour. We walked around a bunch, but not- we didn't get like all the way down the Strip. We took- they have a train too. Um, so we took that a little bit. But we like- that night we went back to the hotel and watched Sophia's video again. Cause we saw it when she made it. But then we watched it again, like, while we were there, and that was kind of fun, because you we were like, Oh my god, I was in that hotel today! <laughs> you know? <laughs> I enjoyed that. It was fun. Um, did you do that too? I bet, like, everybody who went to TwitchCon in Vegas watched that video again. <laughs> I bet we all were like, we gotta watch this while we're here. It's just fun. Um, I didn't go to the pawn shop from Pawn Stars. No, I actually didn't even think about that, to be honest. Um... I didn't do that. We didn't actually do that much touristy stuff while we were there. Mostly just looked around at some of the hotels. Um, we didn't really do anything. So. We stayed at the Westgate Mad Flat um, while we were there. It's really close to the convention center. So we walked to and from the convention center from the Westgate, which was helpful. Um, so we did that. Um, the Westgate, they had a picture of Elvis in the bathroom. Because... Elvis used to have, a, like, a residency there. So they had a picture of him in the bathroom. Like, above the toilet, which I actually thought was kind of strange. And a little bit insensitive, but... I don't know. They have a statue of him, too. In the lobby. But... Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of odd. <laughs> Seems a bit on the nose. Yeah! Yeah. He did, yeah. So that's why it's like kind of strange. But it was nice. It was a nice hotel. I liked it. So <laughs> I liked the location mostly. Um, it was easy to get around from there. So didn't you tell Steph he was buried there? Oh yeah. <laughs> they have. A <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to Steph Osims. They have a, a statue of him, like I was saying, in the lobby. And I told Steph that he was buried under it, and she believed me. But he's not. I don't know where he's buried, but it's not there in the floor of the Westgate Hotel. <laughs> I just, like, offhand, we just walked past it, and I was like, oh yeah, Elvis is right there. <laughs> oh, probably in Graceland, that makes sense. I didn't really think about that, that makes sense. I don't think about Elvis very often. He's not exactly the kind of person that crosses my mind much. You know? Send the students alone, why don't you? Okay, you have work in two hours. You still cannot get your, your skills up. I'm gonna have- Are you doing it again? Okay, I think I killed the plant. So that's an oopsie again. It's okay. 
he's not a great person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which is why I don't think about him very often. Um, okay, would you care to study hard today? I'm sorry to force you through that, but I might make you all do it. You're all struggling. Oh, it's cold in the house too. Here, fix that. I can save that for you. When I visit St. Jude, I can hop over to Graceland. I think that's okay. <laughs> I think I'll be fine if I don't have to do that, actually. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have Moss come make some bar tricks and practice a little bit. Um, but when we go, um, I'm going to see St. Jude. We'll be there in the beginning of May. So my fundraiser is in May as it is every year. And we're doing a live stream from St. Jude in, in May, um, but we're only going for like the day. Like we're flying up, doing a tour of the hospital, doing the stream the next day, going home. So it's like very quick. Um, we won't really have time to do anything else while we're there, but um, it'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a fun stream, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I hope. Um, St. Jude's in Memphis, Avery, it's in Tennessee. Um, how is prep for the fundraiser going? It's going well. I'm feeling a little bit better about it. Um, I I was kind of behind on my preparations because my cat got cancer and then had surgery. So it was like, whoa, I'm a little bit not doing so great with my planning, <laughs> um, but I'm catching up. So that's good. Um, that's good. I'm relieved. You're excited for May? I have some fun plans, I think, so. Not on the same day, no, oh my gosh, not flying in and out the same day. That'd be too much. We won't have time to do that. Not with the stream and stuff. Um, next EP announcement coming in May now that Sim Simsy is busy. No, I don't think that there will be an expansion pack announcement. I would be very surprised if they did that. Um, but at least not in May. My guess would be, and just for the record, I don't have any insider info. If I were them, I'd release it in July because all of their packs recently have come out in July. Like, for multiple years now, we've had a pack in the summer, so... Um, I I would expect the pack to come out in July, maybe get announced in June. Is my guess. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> Have I been to Ireland? Oh god. Yes, Nina, but only briefly. Because one time, there was smoke on my plane when I was flying to visit Dan, and it had to make an emergency landing in Ireland. Because that was the nearest airport. The smoke started happening in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. So yes, I've been to Ireland. But I didn't leave the airport. Um, they left us there and then like went and got us a new plane to come pick us up and bring us to London. So... So yeah, I've been to Ireland, but not really by choice. <laughs> that was a... It was a, a little uh, detour. We went on an excursion, if you will. How long was I there? Um... The plane probably landed there at like 6 a.m. And I bet that we were there until like 3 or 4 p.m. So most of the day, we were there for a while. Waiting, waiting, <laughs> waiting for the new plane. So. That was like the flight, the most nightmare of all nightmare flights. So get this, it was supposed to leave on the Wednesday and land on Thursday morning, okay? Wednesday night, we're at the airport, there's storms. It's storming, a storm, and the flight keeps getting delayed. The flight gets delayed to the point where they have to cancel it because the crew can't work anymore and reschedule it for the next day. So the flight gets delayed until 5 p.m. the next day, like a full 24-hour flight delay. At this point, I've missed my hotel reservation. I had theater tickets to see Wicked in London with Dan. I had to like cancel all of that. They said, we're not gonna refund you because it was weather. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a nightmare. Okay, thank you so much. Fantastic. That, whoa. <laughs> then, we finally get on the plane. It's been 24 hours now. We're finally on the plane again. It actually takes off. That is when it makes an emergency landing. So it gets all the way to Europe, has to land in Shannon, Ireland, and then we have to wait all day for the flight to come get us. So it was supposed to land on like Thursday morning at 7 a.m. We ended up getting there on Friday at like 6 p.m. <laughs> One of the worst flight delays I've ever experienced in my life. It was so bad. <laughs> they did end up 
um, like a few weeks later, they sent me an email being like, you know how we told you we wouldn't refund you for that stuff? Actually, we are gonna reimburse you for the things that you missed and we're gonna refund your flight ticket completely. And there's EU laws where if it's like a flight is a certain amount delayed, they have to give you 600 euros. So I actually made 600 euros from that flight because they refunded my flight ticket and the like the hotel and everything and I got paid, so. There's that. <laughs> <laughs> but they told me that like a couple weeks later afterward um, But anyway, yeah, huge yikes <laughs> Shout out to the EU for that though. That's nice there. They have a lot of consumer protections there, which is helpful um, But we don't really have that where I'm from <laughs> Okay, pulp is hungry. Uh oh, I probably go take care of pulp real quick. Oh no. Well, Pope, you could just eat then, you know. I'll give you a bath first, yeah? Um. Okay, well, we'll start with that. Consumer protections? America? No. Certainly not. Not here. <laughs> Allie, thanks for the eight months. Um, but yeah, that was a rough day. I've never had a flight be that much of a disaster, though. Um, and I've flown a pretty decent amount. Um, you had a flight from LA to Sydney that got turned around three hours in, but they didn't tell you till you were back in LA. So you spent six hours on a plane going nowhere, and the next flight wasn't until the next night at 11 p.m. Oh my god. So you had six, like, you went three hours and then came back three more hours, and then you didn't get to go for real until the next day. Oh my god. Oh, invite over Rosemary, yes. That's good. I'll talk to her. Your fun is very low. No, that's horrible. That is horrible. As if that flight isn't already bad enough as well. I'm sorry. Yeah, that happens a lot with these, like, long flights where they end up just pushing them. Like, if they get delayed enough, they just push it until the next day. Um, after it's been delayed like 24 hours or whatever because it's you know, they have to um, The crew has to be able to work again. So That's horrible <laughs> No, Kayla, I think what we'll do on Thursday is stream from like 4 until 7 ish and then I'll get off stream Go eat dinner and then come back And we'll stream again until midnight when Taylor's album comes out, but I'll take a break for dinner probably feed the cats Get ready, you know um, oh, Sydney has a rule about when you can land because of the noise. I see, I see, I see, I see. That makes sense. Um, oh, it's just Sandra. Uh-oh. I'm actually gonna go see about bringing her out so we can woohoo in the cuddle cards again. You're streaming for it? Yeah, we've done a, a live stream countdown until, like, Taylor Swift's last, like, four albums or something, where I stay up until midnight on stream and we, like, wait for it together. We call it, like, a Taylor Swift waiting room or something. <laughs> um, so we'll do that. We'll do that on Thursday, waiting for the album. Um, but it'll be fun. <laughs> I think I'm gonna play some Stardew Valley in the meantime. That'll be Thursday night, though, because the album comes out at midnight. Um, and we'll be ready. You will wake up to see some? Oh my goodness. You don't have to do that if you're gonna be in a rough time zone. That's the thing. It's gonna be at midnight, well, it will end at midnight my time, which is 6 a.m. in Europe, so... <laughs> Not ideal, you know? But it's okay. Well, I would like you to be a little bit romantic. Kiss hands, maybe? <laughs> Oh, you're uncomfortable. Sorry. Casual discussion. Suave kiss. 5 a.m. and you have class at 8? Well, you could wake up early. Before class. You've got plenty of time to listen to the album. Uh-oh, she doesn't want to be kissed. Oh, never mind. I ruined it. Stop! 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 Uh-oh. I really ruined that. Let me delete that, and we're gonna try again and pretend that it didn't happen, okay? All is well. Jordan's not very good at this. 
Our, our romance is not really working. Despite a lot of trying, it's not really going very well. <laughs> Arisa, Lynn, and Romy, and Pippa, thank you for the subs. Um, I've listened to Aurora. Yes! Actually, this is maybe a throwback for some of you. Aurora did a concert in a game called Sky Children of the Light. And it was like, it was so cool. We, we watched that together on stream. Um, the Aurora concert in Sky. It was so good. It was so cool. Um, but I love Aurora's music and that was like, it was a really cool experience because you're like with people and it had all these beautiful visuals. It was like, it was just really cool. I think there's probably a VOD of that on my second channel. I don't think it would have gotten muted, but it might have. So I don't know if the VOD actually has any of the music or not. Um, but it was really cool. It was really cool. Um, okay. Well, you're uncomfortable, but that's okay. I can fix it. Now it's a casual discussion. I'm going to try to do a bold pickup line. Yeah, it's hard to, it's hard with the, um, the, the VODs with the music like that. Cause, um, it like, if Twitch automatically mutes it, then you can't really do anything about it to put it back. So. I don't know if it's there or not. I feel like I remember it being messed up, but it was a long time ago, so I'm not sure. Would I ever stream Sky again? You know, I I really like playing Sky. I don't know if Sky is the best game for streaming. It's like more fun for me to play it on my own. It's hard to explain. I think it's because it's um it's like kind of a social game because it's online and there's like other people around. Um, and I, I felt kind of guilty because like only so many people could be near me and then like they were all kind of like hovering wanting to play with us which is good but then it's like you feel bad because you can't always like pay attention with them so it, I don't know I just felt kind of like like it wasn't I don't know the best for stream because of like that you don't want to like leave anybody out and stuff. Um, yeah, it's like your attention gets divided between the chat and then people in the game chat, too. So it's hard to play stuff like that live. Um, but I think that makes sense to everybody. I don't know. I liked it, though. It was fun to do. Um, I love that game. Um, you're playing Sky right now, really? Yeah, I heard it came out for Steam recently. I haven't played it on Steam. Um... I did it for that stream, um, because I did a sponsored stream with them, and it, I think it had just come out on PlayStation at the time, maybe? Um, but they wanted me to play it on PlayStation for the stream, and I, I had to use Dan's PlayStation for it, and I don't play any PS5 games, as you all know. I pretty much only play games on my Switch, and the Switch controller and the PlayStation controllers, their buttons are different, like, um, the, like, X button or whatever is in a different spot, basically. So I was like fumbling so much trying to play that game on stream too because I had it on my console um and I was like <laughs> going around trying to play it but like constantly pressing the wrong button because like you were like you know with your reflexes to press the wrong one because you're used to playing with your switch anyway embarrassing it was embarrassing oh the VOD has the music that's good I'm glad that's actually really good that the VOD has the music still then um, but yeah, if you, if you switch around between those two consoles a lot, you probably have the same experience. Wow, this is taking forever to get to this woohoo spot, isn't it? Chucky. We're gonna woohoo in the cuddle carts, so that way I can get, um, this finish for my aspiration. You grew up on PlayStation, so Switch throws you off, really? That's so funny. I'm not a big console person except for my Switch, so that's where I have my problems. Okay, I want to start dating you for real. I want to like ask her to be my girlfriend. Suave kiss again. Oh, the Steam Deck throws you off for that reason? That makes sense. Dan has a Steam Deck and he hasn't played on it in a bit, but he had a massive Steam Deck era. He was playing so many games in bed on his Steam Deck for a while. It was kind of funny. Um, but I can see how that would throw you off too. I had trouble with the Steam Deck because it's a little bit heavy for my little baby hands. I didn't like it that much because of that. I don't know if I would buy a Steam Deck. Um, just because I was- I felt like my little baby hands were too weak to hold in. 
it's kind of big, <laughs> so. I like the idea of a, a cloud gaming thing like that, but <laughs> I don't know. It's it's cool, but I don't think that I would buy one for myself. Okay, unfortunately, I have to dump you now. I know that was short-lived, but I need it for my aspiration, so. Bye, sorry. <laughs> Did I try playing Sims on the Steam Deck? No, but I played it on, um, what is the Logitech? cloud gaming thing called because logitech has one too and i played it on logitech's the sims on that one um not their xbox the they have a cloud like little handheld thing um i've played sims on that it uses the xbox like it, it's like xbox sims but on the little is it just called the cloud maybe G Cloud, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember. This is embarrassing. I should look it up. Um, Logitech G Cloud. It is called that. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, I didn't want to say the wrong thing and then embarrass myself. It is the G Cloud. Um, yeah, but cloud gaming, it's like you can play... Um, it's like playing it off Wi-Fi. Instead of having the like game like physically installed onto your console, um, it's like playing it off Wi-Fi, so it can run on like a lower system, basically, because um, you don't need like as much of a like spec requirement. Um, but it depends on like your internet and stuff. The Steam Deck is not on the cloud, and you can actually mod things on the Steam Deck too. The Steam Deck is like kind of like a mini handheld PC almost, which is a slightly different vibe, um, but kind of interesting to see where it's going. Um, okay. Oh, that makes sense, what in the world that your internet has a hard time with it. I can totally see that. Um, but yeah, everybody, like, people have a really positive opinion of the Steam Deck, so if, it might be worth looking into if you want to play PC games, but, like, you can't really have a computer. Um, but, I don't know. Just an idea. My Dan has one, Snowy, so I guess I have one, but I never use it, and I didn't like it, so... Yes, we have a Steam Deck, but it's not for me. It's not my fave thing. Um, yeah, that's true with the Steam Deck because uh, with it's on Steam and Steam has cloud saves. So you could play like Stardew on your PC and then have your cloud save accessed on the Steam Deck and like keep playing the same save between them and the Steam Deck is handheld. So... You hate matte Steam Deck because it's one of the older models, so it's heavy. Oh, that makes sense. I guess Dan has, the like, an old one, too. So I don't know what the newer ones are like. Maybe it's not as bad. Um, I just find it too big, and it's, like, hard for my hands to hold. But that is an interesting thought. Okay. Would you like to just go straight to bed, my friend? Everyone to bed. It's, like, after midnight, so we're... We're cutting it a little close. Bedtime for you. Ooh, wrong side of the house. Oh, can you actually clean the habitat there? Bedtime for you. And go to sleep. Nice. Okay. Yeah, one of the nicest things about the Switch is how small it is. Um, the Switch definitely has some hardware difficulties, though. It doesn't run stuff that well. Um, but also a lot of the, the problem is a lot of people are making games right now and like not optimizing it well for the Switch. So like you think about like how many issues like Fay Farm had when it first came out on Switch and how many issues Dreamlight Valley had when it first came out on Switch. It's like they're not really porting them very well when they make them the Switch version. So it's not necessarily just the Switch's fault, but... Um, yeah, if it's not made by Nintendo, it's like maybe a gamble on whether or not it's gonna run okay, <laughs> you know? That's true, Christine, actually, that the back is flat, so it's not so ergonomically friendly to hold. I don't really play my games handheld that often. I mostly play here uh, at my PC. I even, like, I play my Switch docked and stuff, so. Um, may need a new installment in the Switch. Yeah, I think that they're gonna be making a new Switch console at some point soon in the next few years. And they've been, there's been like some hints, words about that, but we'll see. 
You have played up and it runs pretty well on Switch. That's good. I'm glad. Did they say 2025 or is that a guess? What do we know? The hint is for spring 2025? Okay. Next year then, maybe? Well, we shall see. It is just a rumor. So <laughs> there's no way to really know, but... Or did they say it? They've said nothing. Never mind. Never mind. You heard it here first. Lil Simsy confirmed new Switch in 2025. I don't know. I don't follow the rumors. Um, yeah, the Switch is getting kind of old at this point, so um, it'll be nice to, to see what the new one is like. They also won't do anything with Animal Crossing until they have a new, a new console. I would love if they made a new Animal Crossing game for a new Switch. Personally, I think they really fumbled the bag with Animal Crossing. They really could have, like, milked that game and made more DLC and stuff. And not that I'm pro-DLC, but, like, to have more Animal Crossing content, I would be. They really could have milked that more and made so much more money off of it. And they were not very smart for not doing it. It would be really cool to have a new Animal Crossing game. I would like that. They just dropped it so quick. Very sad for us. Nintendo is really weird. They make very strange choices <laughs> all the time with so many of their games. Um, yeah, that probably would be what would happen, Christine. We'll see. Um, Splatoon is my enemy. I'm, I gotta be honest, I think the same thing. They dropped Animal Crossing to work on the new Splatoon game, and I know Splatoon is popular, whatever. Splatoon is my personal enemy. The fact that it killed Animal Crossing makes me hate it. I never even played it. But you are the reason that my Animal Crossing game stopped getting updates, so I don't like you. <laughs> I'll never play it out of spite. <laughs> you ruined my game. <laughs> I want to play more Animal Crossing and they won't give me any more content. Okay. Would you like to get some leftovers? Thank you. Good. Oh, it's Harvest Fest. Oh boy. We are Animal Crossing fans and we are spiteful. Exactly. <laughs> you love Animal Crossing and Splatoon? You're playing Splatoon right now? <gasps> traitor. <laughs> traitor, traitor. No, we should play Splatoon at some point. I don't, I've never played it, so I don't know how it works really, but. You wanted to get Animal Crossing on a Switch for Christmas? Oh, there's nothing wrong with buying Animal Crossing now. Animal Crossing is still a fantastic game. They're just not adding any more new content to it, and it would have been cool if they did. It doesn't mean that it's not good, and that it's like not worth getting, you know? Animal Crossing is still really fun. I like it. Oh, her food was stinky. I gave her a spoiled meal. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I wish they would have kept updating it though. Imagine sleeping oh. with your head to your knees like a cat. Oh my god. She's kind of cute for that. She rotated more. I love that she came back. I love that she left and came back. I think that's so cute. She's so adorable. <laughs> Simsy, I will never play Splatoon out of spite. Simsy, two seconds later. We should play Splatoon. <laughs> I think that was my email chat, by the way. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I had another tab open. Yeah. Spam email. So sorry, everybody. <laughs> so sorry if you heard it and you were like, what, what is that? I got an email. No, that was me. <laughs> My bad. Everybody checks their outlook. Um, oh, maybe I will go to school with you today. We might as well. Don't know if I would like Splatoon. Yeah, I might not. Well, actually I hate Splatoon, but I, I'll give it a try. Maybe I'll put, hold on, I should put Splatoon somewhere on, um, my, as one of my charity incentives for, like, a, a random one. I'll be like, oh, I don't want to play Splatoon, but if you donate this much money to St. Jude, then I will. <laughs> That's what I'll do. <laughs> I'll put it on there. I'm never gonna play Splatoon, chat. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh oh, there's a poll. Animal Crossing versus Splatoon. I think a lot of the people here are big Animal Crossing fans. So I would expect 
Why school isn't at Harvest Fest? Oh yeah, it is Harvest Fest. Uh oh. Sorry to the kids. I have them going to school and work on Harvest Fest because I was trying to max the the career. Do you want to study for your exams? Well, that's very sad for them, huh? Too bad. Very sad. Oh my gosh, 90% of chat likes Animal Crossing more than Splatoon. It's almost like a lot of you here spent hours and hours and hours watching my Animal Crossing streams for about three years straight. <laughs> it's almost like the people here have a bias towards Animal Crossing, you know? <laughs> okay, well, I'll let you keep studying until your classes start then. And then we'll see. Oh, have I saved in a while? That could have been really bad. <laughs> I didn't save for ages. <laughs> okay. Um, let's think. You don't have class until 10, right? Yeah. Okay, you can stop then. Go. Lil Simsy said she hates Splatoon, so we hate Splatoon. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody in this room is wearing blue. Everybody in the entire school is wearing blue. <laughs> Even the teacher. They said it is the blue gen. And we are committed. <laughs> We're kind of like a trendsetter, you know? I feel great about that. What about the other classroom? Are you all in blue too? Jasandra wants to go to prom with me. I broke up with you last night. I don't know what part of I'm dumping you wasn't clear, but I don't want to go to prom with you. Yeah, they're all in, in blue here too, huh? She interrupted me in the middle of class as well. That's so embarrassing. How could you do that to me? I'm gonna get to know her. Okay. Imagine prom posing in the middle of class. Yikes. Oh, you are having a rough day, aren't you? That's my bad. You're kind of stinky, but maybe you could get some food. Purchase some snacks, perhaps. Oh no. Who? Who? Oh, their grandpa. Okay. Well, he was old, so that's fine. Not that it's fine. It's just not... <laughs> it's not unexpected. You know, he was an elder. It, it was coming. Sorry, that's a terrible way of wording it. I'm sorry, my friend Christine in chat, Mrs. Tomato, made that same, and I just said it's fine that he died. But what I mean is, it's the circle of life. He was very old, it's okay. It happens. Okay, eat the cream snack cake, yeah? Look at how much I'm sinking up the room. Yeah, both Elphaba's dads are gone now. This is a very funny picture to me. <laughs> I got my Twinkie. Can I, I'm sorry, this is so mean. I'm gonna make fun of a streamer called Critic Zeus for a second. When he and Sasha came to my house a few months ago, I was like, hey, I'm going to the store. Like, are there any snacks that you want? Like, what do you want to have for breakfast? Like, I'll, you know, I'll buy stuff so we have it in the house. And they both picked one snack each, okay? Sasha picked barbecue chips. Makes perfect sense. Zeus picked Twinkies. Given the opportunity to pick any snack in the world, my first choice would never be a Twinkie. Never would pick that as my first choice. Barbecue chips, I get it. But Twinkies. I don't like Twinkies though. They kind of give me the ick. So, out of all the snacks, I know, the whole store. 
Had he had one before? Yeah, yeah, he's had them before. Um, Twinkies are pretty easily accessible in other countries because they, when they have like the American section at the store, they'll have like Lucky Charms and Pop-Tarts and Twinkies and like marshmallow fluff. <laughs> so it's not hard to find them outside of America, but also like he and Sasha have been together for a long time and um, she lives in Texas, so. Um, do they not sell barbecue chips outside the US? No, they, they have barbecue chips. That's just Sasha's favorite kind of chip. I like barbecue chips too, so I get it. That's a solid pick, in my humble opinion. Anyway, I'm not a big Twinkie person. I would never eat them. Um, Twinkies are like, uh, it's like a, a sponge cake filled with cream, but it's like full of preservatives and they sell it, it like, it's like shelf stable at the store. And they're like sickly sweet. And it's just, I don't think they're very good, but. A lot of people don't like them, I think. It kind of is like chemically sweet as well. It's like a good idea in theory, but I don't think it tastes very good. You know? Can I go now? There we go. Now we're out. Oh my god. Shrimp! <laughs> you checking on Snappy? That's very nice of you, thank you. <laughs> now he's there. And she doesn't react at all, see? <laughs> Thank you for scratching my chair when there's a scratching post right next to you. What? And he's gone! He really just walked up to check on her. He literally came in, sniffed her, and left. He didn't even say hi to me. That's kind of cute. <laughs> Shrimpy wants to be her friend so bad. He's been wanting to be her friend so bad. I have a picture, hold on. Um, it was as soon as Snappy got home from the vet after she got her stitches out earlier and Shrimp immediately went right up to her and he was like, what happened to you? <laughs> Where's your comb? What happened to you? <laughs> the second she got home, he's like, what's up? <laughs> oh, you're back. He loves her. She does not love him. He's like, you smell weird. Like the vet a little bit. Why? <laughs> you look different today. <laughs> and she's like, why are you looking at me like that? Anyway, he's obsessed with her. It's kind of cute. All right, we're back home. It's a lovely Thursday. It is in fact a holiday and I have not done anything for said holiday yet. So let me put up some decorations. Oh, our house looks cute with the fall decorations. I like those. Yeah? Oh, you came back. Are you gonna go see her again? <laughs> Are you saying hi to Snappy? And he's scratching the chair again. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> okay, um... Alphabet never finished making the food. I guess you could probably do it. Oh my god. Look at what he's doing. <laughs> Hold on. Look at what I'm looking at right now. I turn around and he's completely on the floor like this. <laughs> that is a creature. Absolutely ridiculous. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> All right, resume the tofurkey dinner for me, please. Jerry, Haley, Bella Girl, and Jade, thank you for the subs. Now he's gonna play with the toys. Maybe, I don't know, he's over there. It's focusing on him behind me. <laughs> okay, let's finish cooking this. We actually have barely worked on any skills with this sim, so that probably would be good for us to work on. We should probably try and do some skill building. <laughs> Wonder what Sunny's up to. She might be in Dan's office. She hangs out in Dan's office a lot. Um, otherwise, she's probably on the tree in the living room. That's kind of her thing. So, 
Was that tofurkey dinner on the floor? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't eat at their house if I were you. They leave food on the floor a lot and then try and serve it to you. Kinda a bit strange if you ask me. Okay, he's back by the litter box again. Did he move the chair? Yeah, the chair is rotated, isn't it? <laughs> the chair swivels. Um, and, and he made sure that we all knew that. He was showing it off. That is shrimp. Yeah, he's, no, he's not orange. I have, I have two all black cats, um, the little voids, they're twins. They're actually triplets, they have a brother too, my parents adopted. And that one's snappy, she's a tabby cat. But, I got the two voids. <laughs> All right, everybody, are you gonna come eat or no? Oh, we're eating our tofurkey dinner without Alphaba. That makes me feel bad. He's doing it again. Shrimpy, you literally, oh, here he comes. He looked at the camera, come back. Oh, then he left. He keeps checking on Snappy. It's so cute. And her, yeah, her dad died today, my Sim Alphaba, and now her whole family is eating Thanksgiving dinner without her. That's kind of messed up when you think about it. Oh, I said voids, like with a V, not boys. Void like a black cat, a void. Um, sorry, that's confusing. <laughs> uh, okay. Would you care to eat everybody? I think we should be good then, after you've all eaten that. Where are the gnomes? Is that spoiled? Yeah. Where are the gnomes? Oh, here's one. That's kind of creepy. Appease the gnome, give pie. See how that goes. Am I gonna, oh, we should go collect the family graves, that's true. We actually should go to their house and get them. Ew, look how stinky I am. Yikes. Um, okay, well I'll take a shower and then I'll go get the, <laughs> our grandpa's graves, yeah? <laughs> there was a cat named Frankie, yeah, my parents adopted the mom, Frankie, and their little brother, Sam. So she's still with my family. Um, they, my parents adopted her, so. I just don't talk about her that often because she's not in my house. <laughs> so <laughs> I talk about the ones that are actively living in here, you know? If I start talking about too many cats, the internet's gonna be very confused and think that I have like six cats. So. <laughs> Yeah, Lemon and Sam are still friends. Lemon is my parents' other cat, and he has uh, become very good friends with little Sam, the kitten's brother, which is really cute. Oh, aspiration achieved! Oh, we finally finished it. That's good. I got the webmaster trait, and with the webmaster trait, where is it? Webmasters get the most out of their computers, unlocking extremely useful ways to use them. It's actually kind of boring, but it's okay. You have this like earn money turking thing and you can get like 20 bucks from it. It's a very boring uh, bonus trait, if you ask me. Okay, let's go out. Um, I believe that they lived in Glimmerbrook. Yes, we're trying to get Alphaba's parents. Her two dads were here and then died. So I'm going to get them. <laughs> Mandy, thanks for 11 months. Thank you so much. You heard earn money twerking? Understandable. It's earn money twerking. And I think that it's like earn money doing like little side jobs for Amazon or something ridiculous in real life. And I'm not kidding, unfortunately. Twerking is better, I feel like, but. I don't know if my Sim Moss could do that very successfully. Okay, here are both the graves. Um, I need to make sure I don't lose those in our stack of other graves. And then we'll go back. Okay. 
Um, two spellcaster graves. We live in Henford on Bagley. Yeah, it's kind of like a side job, small thing, basically. Um, Amazon Turk can be used by researchers. You upload surveys and stuff like that, and people can make money completing them. Oh, is it just researchers? Why did I think it was more than that? 99 plus graves in the inventory? Yeah, that's all of the strangers' graves that I've collected. Unfortunately, I'm not kidding about that. Why is pulp a piece of toast? Because it looked kind of like the cone that Snappy had to wear for a long time, um, for the past two weeks. So pulp is wearing the grilled cheese in solidarity with Snap's cone. But Snappy had her cone off today and pulp can't take hers off yet, so. Oh, it might be more, but you're in grad school, so you know about that part of it. That makes sense. You know what you've seen it used for, so that makes sense. Okay, let me put both of these graves down real quick. I guess I need to put move objects on. We're gonna need to update the graves command to say how many more I have now. Which is fun. <laughs> two more. One, two, and our first spellcaster graves. See, Christine? Yeah, your sims are dead, but they're my first spellcaster graves. I added two, see? Yeah. We could, if we wanted to, put all of our other graves back, because I don't think that they were causing all of our lag. Um, but it's a really shocking amount of graves. So I should just warn you, as I go through and do this, it's gonna take us a while, so we might want to do it, like, slowly over time as opposed to doing it all at once, because it's kind of a slow process. But I had to put them back in my inventory because we were having a lot of lag problems one day, but it turns out they weren't causing it, so it doesn't matter. You don't understand though, there's like 200 or something over here. It's like an absolutely ridiculous number, or at least there will be. How many graves do we have now? 285? Oh my god. Yeah, I don't need to do all these right now. We'll slowly add them back over time. It'll be fine. Okay, Jort, it's a Thursday night. You need to be mean on Social Bunny five times. So I'll probably do that. <laughs> Let me add a friend to my contacts list. Maybe I'll get Jasandra. Um, I am gonna send a couple flirty messages to Rosemary because our romance bar got broken. We have no more romance. But what I can do after that is send some mean messages. Not even a cow plant wants to be around you. Your follower count and you are the same, a big zero. Now, that's bold coming from you, Jort. You have no followers, too. You look like a shaved llama? <gasps> that's really insensitive. Some people's cats are bald. That's actually messed up. Why would you say that? Please just go back into your house and remove the door and no one wants to see you in public? Wouldn't it just be so terrible if you happen to find some sabotaged objects in your future? Okay. <laughs> okay. Did you- I thought I had you decorate the house. Did it not count? I'm gonna count that. Okay, you also have to be thankful today. Get in your thankful spirit, so. Yeah, those are like turning into threats, yeah? Is under small talk, I think? No? Well, small talk, share Harvest Fest excitement. It's under affection. Friendly, affection, be thankful. I keep, still to this day, it's been a while since they changed the moodlets around, or like changed the pie menu around. I still to this day get lost when I'm trying to find stuff. It's very annoying. <laughs> I was so used to it being in alphabetical order all the way around that I still get lost looking for specific interactions. They should have like a holiday section or something. 
Um, yeah, Denim does have top surgery scars, Lilith. Yeah, we did give them to him. You can't see them in this outfit, but um, he does. Are you done being thankful yet? I'm gonna say you are, okay? That, I should, that should count. You can't get a successful harvest fest? What about you? You wanna do the gnomes. Oh, there they go. Don't kick the gnome. Oh my god, don't kick the gnome. Stop. Appease the gnome. Give pie. Okay. Yeah, there is a mod. Twisted Mexi has a mod called Smarter Pie Menu, um, which is helpful for that. Would you care to appease the gnome? Okay, well that's good. We finished both of those. Um, anybody else need to do anything? You didn't even get to eat a grand meal because your family ate without you. <laughs> so, so sorry. I'll let you have a serving now. So sorry. There's a, there's some tofurkey for you. <laughs> Does James Turner use it too? Yeah, I bet a lot of people use it. I don't use that many mods, um, just in general, but that is a very helpful mod. The dialogue one. Twisted Mexi makes a lot of extremely useful mods. Um, sorry your last remaining parent died, but we went ahead and ate without you. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, Twisted Mexi makes some great, really useful mods. Um, stuff like that, but also some big things. You ever heard of like Better Build By and stuff? Um, he's like a wizard. He makes so much cool stuff. <sighs> okay. Let's clean up some of this stuff too. How do you think Moss will feel about Jort cheating after what their dad did to their mom? Ooh. I don't think Moss can ever learn about Jort becoming a cheater. I think that has to be a deep, deep, dark secret. No one can know about that. But you're right, I think that Moss would be really upset to learn that their kids, like, cheated on a partner. I mean, I think anybody would be upset about that, but, like, to know the way that cheating destroyed Moss's family to like such an extreme degree. Moss's mom literally died of anger when she learned that her husband cheated on her. Like she died from it. So <laughs> I can imagine that Moss would be really upset to learn <laughs> that their kids cheated on a partner. The top surgery scars are actually in the game. It's not CC. They added that like, maybe like last January, like a year ago or something. I forget exactly when. I could be misremembering and conflating two updates, but we've had the top surgery scars for a while. They also added a binder in that update. It's not the best. It's kind of just like a tank top that they say is a binder. Um, it doesn't really bind and you can't use it as an undershirt. <laughs> it's just kind of like a tank top in cast. but they say it's a binder and I think that's nice because they tried, you know? <laughs> So, um, they did those in the same update, both the top surgery scars and the binder, so. Um, okay. Should've made an accessory. Yeah, I, I understand that it would've been really complex to try and put it under things, but, um, I, I, there, there definitely could've done it better, or given us, like, some more options or something. It'd be really nice if there was, like, a real way to do, like, undershirts and, and, like, layering of clothing just in general. So if they built out that system, that would be fantastic both for this purpose, but also just for like general cast customization. So um, that would be a really cool thing for them to work on. But I understand why um, it is the way that it is. I just wish that it was better, you know? Um, but anyway, <laughs> it also has some really terrible swatches. Like, like some of the worst pattern customizations I've seen, like poorly done textures. So that sucks. Um, but there's like solid colors that are better. Um, but that's helpful. Yeah, CC creators have, um, have made stuff like that, that is functional, so. Um, I think that it's possible. I, I know this like sounds ridiculous to say, but like there's at a certain point, some things in The Sims 4 are like, a little bit too late for them to go back on. Um, like, we're, like, in too deep with some of this stuff in this game for them to, like, completely rearrange the systems. 
Um, they've done work to undo it, but like at its core, for example, The Sims 4 is extremely gendered. Like it, The Sims 4 is based on like two models, right? And they've done a lot of work to try and make it better and make it more customizable, but there's only so much that they can do. Whereas like a future Sims game, like this Project Renee, whatever it's gonna be, I have hopes that it'll be a little bit better in that front. Same thing with like the layering of casts, like putting a jacket over a shirt. I don't know if they could do that with how The Sims 4 cast works right now, but they could probably do that if they build it from scratch in the next game, you know? It's hard to modify, like, what they have as the base at this point, you know? Um, so. Oh yeah, I do have horse poop on my counter, thank you for asking. This is the last thing I have of my Sims dead horse, so. <laughs> I have it on display. <laughs> It's my final memory of our horse, Strawberry, who has passed away. <laughs> I wish I was kidding, but I'm actually being so serious. Okay, you can get some leftovers next. Everybody's upset because of their grandpa dying, which I get. But, you know, get it together. Um... Yeah, they do have CC that lets you layer. A lot of times with stuff like that, though, um, like sometimes, the like, granted I haven't used one of these things in a while, so I might have an out of date understanding of it, but the custom content that I used to have that used to layer, it would be like you could put a jacket over something, but the game would class the jacket as like a ring. So you would wear a shirt, and then the jacket that you could layer with, the game thought was a ring, or like thought was nail polish or something, so you couldn't have a ring and the jacket, um, or like a ring on that finger and the jacket. Um, cause the game, they would like put it in a separate category so that you can layer it. Kind of like the custom eyelashes. Um, so like they, they would try and mix and match it in categories like that. And the Sims team wouldn't do that. They would try and build like a whole new category for it. If they were going to do that, um, they wouldn't like make your jacket a ring or whatever. Um, so, and usually it's made to fit like very specific items too, exactly. Um. Or like sometimes you'll have CC, like maybe a C CC hairstyle that has like a bow in the hair and it you can't really use it on other hairs because it's made to fit that certain hair, but there is a CC variant where you can change the color of the bow. Um, and that's like a hat or whatever. Um, but there's options like that that are out there. But it just kind of works different than how it would if the Sims team did it. Because they would probably try and do it in a more official way, at least they probably should. So. It would take him a while. Um, okay. So it's 7 a.m. on a Friday. I need to ask my Sims to have like a prom date tonight. We'll have to go try and find a prom date soon. We'll work on that. Um, did I hear you can lay your clothes and paralyze? Yeah, I've, I've seen that. It'll be cool when they do that. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I mean, I would be really shocked if a game came out in 2025 and didn't have the ability to do that, you know? Like, The Sims 4 at this point is almost 10 years old. So, like, the things that they're lacking, they really should fix in the future life sim they're gonna make. And, and stuff like, um, some of the build customizations that Paralives, for example, is getting, I would be, like, shocked if it didn't have at this point, you know? So... Okay, everyone off to school. I might have you study hard. Sorry, you might have a bad day because of it, but it is what it is. Okay, Moss, you have work today. You hope we get another hot tub for The Sims 4's 10 year anniversary. <laughs> I would like that. Genuinely, if they made like another like kind of funny hot tub, it shouldn't be the only thing but like, how legendary would that be if they gave us another hot tub for the anniversary? And something else, but like, if they did like a joke and made a hot tub, come on. Come on, like how iconic would that be? It would be so funny. Or like 10 new hot tubs, no, they wouldn't do that. But I think that would be kind of a fun idea. Um, give us the heart bed. I think people would like to see that. The, the truth is what they should probably do is go and like add in some iconic items from previous Sims games, but um, I would like them to, well, I guess it's the Sims 4. They should probably do something to celebrate the Sims 4 specifically with the Sims 4's update. 
I don't know, it just depends. Wouldn't be surprised if we got absolutely nothing. I know. I really hope that they do at least some sort of small update. I think it's important. It would be a massive miss to not acknowledge and do something special for the 10 year anniversary of your game. Like, how many of us have been playing this game for 10 years almost, you know? A new swatch on the Plum Bob fan! <laughs> Honestly, you joke, they shouldn't do a swatch, but if they made an update, and I would like it if, if some of it was like, you know, not ugly, but if they made some more kind of wacky furniture like this, like if there was like a full set, I don't know, I think that would be kind of iconic. Like, yes, it's a little bit ugly, but it, it feels very simmy in honor of the anniversary, you know? You've never seen that? Yeah, this came out uh, a while back. It's kind of interesting, I don't know, it's not terrible. But they could do some interesting stuff like that. You disagree? <laughs> what would be good for you if, if they didn't do something silly? You've never used that? Yeah, me neither. I don't really like it. This game has enough ugly furniture as it is. You know what my genuine request would be though, and I said this before, if they're gonna do something for the anniversary, what I think they should do is a massive swatch update to the base game stuff. Um, like my pick would be a, a massive swatch improvement to like, you know, maybe a bunch of more base game bed swatches and base game couch swatches, some more rugs. Like that would be my choice for a, a celebratory update is to like do a huge swatch thing again like they did before. Um, that feels like an appropriate way to celebrate the anniversary. Um, so I would like it if they did that. Um, just some improvements upon those things. They've been doing it like slowly, but I think that's a nice way to, I don't know, it like honors the base game, you know? Give us a new kitchen set for base game. That would be cool too. That would be cool too. Maybe we should brainstorm this a little bit and I'll make a YouTube video with our demands. We should, not today, maybe I'll make like a Discord channel at some point soon this week and we can brainstorm together and we'll get our list of demands together and then we'll <laughs> make a YouTube video because they'll have some time. They're probably already thinking about it, but it's not until September. So they have to get a move on. Not demands. Well, it kind of is a demand though, like, It's important. <laughs> but I would love to see more beds and stuff. That's that's big. Even if it's just base game swatches, but um, some of them are unique. Well, look, you know the cheapest base game bed? Genuinely, what that bed needs is like some more plain swatches. It's it's nice and all, but we need some more swatches like this with like plain white wood and like a few different color variants. You know, where it's like easy, simple, you can mix and match it in a lot of different spaces. We need like an all white one that has like a white bedspread and white thing. Like it just, that way you can use it in a lot of areas and it won't be hard to mix and match. Cause you can only use this so many times. Like it just looks ridiculous. We need a few more simple, simple swatches that you're able to fit in everywhere, you know? I want a normal looking base game bed that doesn't make your Sims uncomfortable, yeah. That would be nice. That would be nice. Um, we'll see what they end up doing. <laughs> I wish you could choose the sheets separately from the bed, the like headboard too, but unfortunately not. Very sad. Um, toddler playpen from The Sims 3. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jax and Sanctuary and Psychic and Pocket and Lil's. Thank you for the subs too, everybody. Okay, we should probably head out from stream here kind of soonish. Um, I need to go cook dinner and feed the cats and stuff. Um, but I think I just heard a cat. I don't see it yet though. Um, but it's already seven. Time flies when you're playing not so very. <laughs> but I probably should head out relatively soonish. So tomorrow, we're gonna be live. We're gonna play um, the Stardew Valley tomorrow uh, on Wednesday. I'm always live in the morning on Wednesdays, so we'll do that. And then on Thursday is the kit release day. So on Thursday, I was thinking we'd do like a build with the kit um, or 
maybe like just try and decorate a party space or something. I don't really know yet what that is going to entail. It depends what the kit looks like. I haven't really seen it, but we'll do something with the kits on Thursday. So we'll go through them and talk about it. There was an update today, but it was just bug fixes. Nothing huge, Cappy. It wasn't a very good update. Um, nothing that you would care about, to be honest. <laughs> and then on Friday, we're going to play the 100 baby challenge. Um, so those are the plans for the next couple of days. I always post my stream schedule in the Discord with like more information. Oh, also on Thursday, I'm streaming twice because on Thursday night, we're going to be live until midnight waiting for Taylor Swift's album to drop. So if you are also going to be looking for a Taylor Swift waiting room, I will be here on Thursday night waiting. <laughs> so we'll be here twice on Thursday. It's a big week for us. Um, so yeah, another one already. Yeah. <laughs> But the last one was her re-recording. This one is a brand new album. It wasn't a re-recording this time. It's a brand new album. And I think that we're going to play Stardew on Thursday night. Um, mostly because I can't help myself. So that's the plan. Um, we could use the party stuff to decorate a room like it's a Taylor Swift album release party. <laughs> oh my god. We'll think about it. We'll figure out some sort of plan. It also might be cute to use the party stuff to like decorate a prom space. It could be a cool birthday party space. We could try and do a house and like see if it works for like normal purposes. Because the kits are nice and all, but like can you use it for more than one thing? Like can we try and decorate like a teen's bedroom? So we'll think about stuff like that with the kit. Um, and try and uh, figure out ways that it's functional for us, you know? <laughs> um, but anyway, does Snap play with toys? Yeah, she has some toys. My room looks like a mess because I got a bunch of cat toys everywhere, but she does play with toys. Um, she likes kicker toys specifically and this creepy eyeball toy that she has. It's like a little eyeball and it has a tail and she really likes it. And I wish that she didn't. She like carries it around in her mouth and it makes me uncomfortable. Um, but she likes it, so... Good for her. <laughs> Why did you buy it for her? Well, it was in, we have this thing called Meow Box and it was in the Halloween one. So that makes it make a little bit more sense. It was like a Halloween thing, except now it's like her favorite item ever. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me go and find someone to raid then probably. Yeah, of course she makes the creepiest toy her favorite one. Her other favorite toy is a little banana. It's like a kicker toy, but it's a banana. She's obsessed with that thing. Um, she really likes it. Okay, I would like to maybe raid someone who is playing The Sims. And actually, my friend Emrys is live doing some simming today, and I like the idea of going over there. So maybe we'll go hang out with Emrys, yeah? Um, and we'll say hello. So let's go over there. Um, we'll, we'll do some simming. I don't know what we're doing. The dog in this household, maybe it's a cat, I can't tell. Look, it's small. It's in like a monster costume or something. I can't tell what it is. So we'll have to ask about that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know, why is there, there's an urn on display. I wonder who that is. Oh, I just love seeing other people's sims and what they do, you know? Anyway, let's go say hi to Emrys. <laughs> a lot of you probably know them um, because we play Among Us together. Just so you know, Emrys uses they, he pronouns. Um, and I will catch you over there. Yeah, thank you for hanging out. I'll see you all tomorrow. Ava, Mora, Sanctuary, Jack, thanks for the subs. And I'll see you later, okay? Oh, it's a raccoon. Oh, good. Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bye, chat. Snappy, say bye to chat. Snappy. Say bye to chat. Honestly, she doesn't care about you at all. At all. You don't even cross her mind. <laughs> she has not a care in the world for you. Anyway, sorry. Bye. <laughs> and stop the stream.